I think, I think we're good. I think, I guess we'll find out shortly when the internet yells at us and says that we did it wrong. Uh, but anyway, hello internet, welcome to this show. Remember that this exists? Um, <laughs> this is Prince of the Apocalypse. Sorry if the sound quality is a little wonky and echoey on my end. That's because I'm in a big open space in the new house. Yes, but not uh, no video to show it off yet. As you can see, most of the things are barren behind me here. Um, I'm like this god awful carpeting on the bottom stairs. Ugh. Anyway, um, but right through that door, that's the D and D room. But it's not set up yet. But soon, the dungeon master's chambers. Yes, um, working on it. So, uh, anyway, uh, it's been a while, folks. It's been almost a month since we played this game last. Last game we played was live at Gen Con. Uh, and I guess for Davis, who may or may not have caught up on that episode, um, why don't who wants to give us a little recap as to what happened last time we played? I mean, I can do it, but I figure I'd give you guys the opportunity. What are we talking about? What happened? <laughs> what what happened last time? Last time at Gen Con, what happened was what <laughs> we left you uh, yep. in the town, a small yep. town, to fend for. Did we have like animals or some business we needed to deal with? No, uh, the witch, the fire witch. Yeah, the fire witch. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Night. But I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about. Um, um, we 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 left uh, Vannon behind in yep. the town to tend to the animals right he was he yeah, was he took care of the zoo yeah and working on the dragon stuff that you got that's what oh, it was yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were tanning dragon hide yep i'm tanning dragon hide yeah mm -hmm. we just decided you because you collected all that shit off the dragon we were like he's gonna want to turn this into snazzy shit to wear that's true that's why i did that but i i yeah. we all knew that <laughs> yeah. so we were like well vanden might not care so much about a fire witch if, when it comes to getting dragon things so. everybody's got gator dragon skin shoes now <laughs> was I it like a gator it. dragon gator dragon <laughs> gator dragon now that <laughs> gator dragon. that deserves oh, its own episode i'm down yeah. i yeah. did watch i did watch like the first 30 minutes of the uh that episode, but then I got too jealous, so I turned it off. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that don't be enough. jealous. Well, That's... we're here drinking with you tonight. Yeah, it's I know. Kinda, I'm really excited. It's kind of like it. Yeah. So, uh, basically, uh, but what other than leaving Van behind to deal with this <laughs> stuff? What actually happened last time? Okay. In a, in an act of cruelty. So yeah, we left you behind, and then yep. we ran into uh, a. Um, the Fighter most bar. memorable character that I think we've ever met. At least in uh, Igni's mind. Leo. Mm. And we went to go find the spicy hag and uh, went to the house and we found out that there was a family of halflings there. We met the halflings. The grandfather was a douche. <laughs> and all of us were like, fuck that dude. Um, and then... investigate. Yeah, we had to investigate the burrow that was there that exploded outward. So then we went down there um, and we met a spirit that lived down there who wanted all of their stuff back because their uh, tomb was ransacked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a revenant. Yeah, revenant. From a um, from a nearby barbarian tribe, uh, Uthgard. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uthgard tribe. And so because his, his tomb was fucked with, um mm -hmm. he came up and was like yo fuck no and he knew like who it was and we went in we we're talking to him and then this like earth golem yeah an earth element to, to like trap us in there right so yeah. we battled that got the fuck out not only did we battle it we dabbed it so so you're missing you're missing a huge part of this which is that we actually when we got there we walked in on a family the family of gnomes that owned the farm yeah and it was like oh, a yeah. strange interaction with them where Myself and the beautiful man got a little <laughs> upset at the grandfather who was holding his own upstairs in a locked room. You can't trust a grandpa that locks himself away. You don't want to be with his right. grandkids. So I started interrogating him. They got all up in arms because I was interrogating a grandfather. And then <laughs> they were like, kind of a dick, though. He was a he super was a dick. dick. He was super yeah. dick. And so then we went in and fought the golem and found the things, only to find out when 
who when who was it that rose that told us that the two people that desecrated the grave the revenant yeah, yeah, it was the revenant. They, yeah he knew exactly where they it. were he just couldn't he, d he would identify them as soon as he saw them yeah but then like when we got out of the tomb there was the whole uthgard tribe that had shown up yeah they showed up hot to trot ready to kill some gnomes right and all of us are in agreement that like no okay listen Revenant's gonna stop at nothing. There's consequences from get, for getting in the way of a Revenant for completing his like soul-bound mission. But we're gonna try to prevent the bloody murder of women and children who were not affiliated with this. So we had lots of negotiations that were happening. <laughs> lots of uh, quick racing to the homestead and hurtling over horns and all of the above. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, but I think at that point, Igni ran upstairs. While we were negotiating with the tribe and the Revenant outside, Igni ran inside, got you everybody out. Where is the fire out? So here's the thing. There's no there, fire was a, no. there was no fire witch. There was, there was no, no fire, fire witch. witch. It, was a, it, was a total, it was a total, like, scam, basically, yeah. from what at least Igni they, can Essentially, what they did was they had a bunch of, uh, they, what was it? the fuck is the word for burning something into something else that i can't branding think. branding they branded a bunch of their uh livestock with the symbol of the fire symbol fire cult to try and frame them to thinking it was the earth cult framing the fire cult for doing something that they didn't actually do so right. they tried to trick us and in the end it was just the main old grandpa yeah well the they had joined and the, the grandpa and the the dad joined the earth cult yeah. Wait, so you're telling me cults are placed in traps now? That's what's happening? The cults mm -hmm. are trying. It's getting a little political. I have to be yeah. real. Uh, Game, Game of Thrones up in here. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, you know, like two months ago, Vannon had like almost. He had enemies, but he had like almost no enemies. Well, sorry, friend. I'm okay with it. This but that fun. being said, yeah, basically they were able to negotiate. Igni went in told the family to get to the barn so they didn't get injured because they were ready to like level their house and then i went upstairs and had it out with the little old man chugged his ass out the yep. front door was like deal yeah me. and it was like yeah i want to kill the old man and we were like go for it and then he was like i want to kill the dad and we were like okay hold on a second wait boom, <laughs> breaks. kids can't grow up with dad oh, daddies now yep that's good whoever did that <laughs> it yeah i think we were all that was all agreed we were okay with the yeah. old man be you know he had his chance and was he was mean. mean. He was yeah. like he was hitting you with all sorts of necromancy shit, and like we didn't know, we didn't see any of this because this all took place inside. And he just nope. like tumbled out of the house, yep. like, like all fucked up and shit, like with his ass wrapped up in a cloak. Man, nobody wants to trust Igni's instincts. Just learn to trust her instincts. Lilith is down. Lilith was also very, very like. I'm not getting in the way of this. Like, fucking you were, you were. needs his you know, fucking justice served. And, like, it you... sounds like you guys are missing a certain kind and jolly wood elf. We could really have you some pocket candy, friend. Seriously, I was just thinking po pocket candy. Would have <laughs> there were candy. multiple yeah. times where if we had just passed out maple Little candy. maple candies get you yeah. so far. You have no idea. Ozzy was also just lost in the fact that he was able to fly because oh, our that's, friend that's also can't really fly cool. on me. Oh, and, and we flying we, around everywhere. We missed an important part to the oh, end of the story. Right. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, what? yeah. Okay. Igni got laid. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Leo. Brittany does not look like she believes that Leo? whatsoever. Yeah. No, I know you did. I, I saw that that, I called it, you were about to, Lilith decided to sexile herself. She bamped him to a wolf form and just went off into the night. He was like, wait, I'm not wait, staying okay. in this freaking barn listen to these two go at it like yeah. Oh, hell no. yeah we had sex in the barn uh, like uh, you do and then we both came out we're like well I mean, this is a bye so it was it, it's like the best yeah it was a true tender date okay that's really funny i'm just like picturing ozzy flying around like flying through the air as Brittany turns into a werewolf to run away while igni and leo do some fun stuff in the barn yep yeah. And uh, I don't know. It just sounds like our stream, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and if you're curious to see more about Leo the Blue Lion, uh, you can check out the Rise of Tiamat stream that happens on the alternating Monday, because uh, that's where Leo's from, and they have had a game. Also so. Watch the OG episode at some point. 
Yeah, so. uh, Leo did teach Lilith how to dab. Mm. We did learn the dab. We did learn the dab. We all That's right. dabbed. We did dab. Wait, My dab made. Dab? We dabbed, and, and then I used the elemental spectrum to dab a earth elemental out of existence. Oh, you sure did. That was oh, tight. Yeah, right. he dabbed <laughs> banishment. <laughs> We were getting super down to like battle the fuck out of this thing, and you're like, uh, <laughs> hold on, guys. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. He... Yeah, that happened. That happened. I'm, I, you know, I maybe I'm a little it. happy I missed that episode. <laughs> it was, um, it was this. I'm well, proud of all of you. I, you're all beautiful. We, we didn't burn anything to the ground, and the kids lived. Oh. We got well, that laid, was done before we showed up. We fixed it. It's true. We did the thing, and I guess now we're headed back to go to go collect you and all of your dragon gear. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Lilith got like some cool items and shit. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. I think I put. I was all my... like in favor of, of helping this revenant. I was yeah. like, yo, guys. And someone guys. got a fox, right? Someone got Lilith a fox got statue. Fox. You got the fox statue. Yeah. Yeah, copper fox statue. Copper I got. Fox. Which I am so excited about. Let's talk about why. Lilith is gonna have a little fox buddy to be homies with when she's in wolf form. Do you want? Do you want John the bear? Do you want oh, all the <laughs> the statues that turn into animals? No. Those are yours. Those are your babies. Well, I mean, I also have a statue of wondrous power that I could give to you, and we could just try and collect all the statues of wondrous power, and we could just you could, you could have all the statues of wondrous power. Summon his pets. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is pet. No, 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 no. I just want. I'm gonna have my little fox hunting buddy. Like, uh, you got. You're the ranger, silly goose. You got your menagerie of helpful, helpful critters. Mm -hmm. I love those. They're sweet. Plus, yeah, did you already happen. bond with it? I mean, I don't think I've actually ever called it out. I don't think you have either. It's like kind of, it doesn't recharge for seven days. So it's like, I got to be sure that I want a bear for eight hours. Fair. All right. So I guess we'll pick up where we kind of, at the end of that scenario, uh, Leo left in the morning. I can't remember if Leo had said he left a note for Igni or not. Doesn't no, really... he tried oh, sneaking had a real out, but Igni was already awake. That's <laughs> right. He was basically to, like, he was sneak basically out. Like, he was like, uh, 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 and Igni was like, don't make this awkward, just leave. <laughs> just bite. <laughs> <laughs> he was That's like, right. just, just stop. Go. Just go. Elf trancing, am I right? That's right. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> So with that, um, we'll pick up right where you guys left off after Leo had made his unceremonious escape in the morning. Um, did you guys have anything you want to do before <laughs> before you make your way back to Westbridge to pick up Van? Oh. Well, I will have come back from my evening uh, spent as a wolf, and um, I would say that I probably like summoned my little fox companion, and we went out and like calivanted a, a throughout the hills. Um, yeah, and I come back and I've got a little, my little fox homie trotting with me. All right. What about uh, what about the rest of you? I bet Igni's hungry. Very hungry. <laughs> I brought back breakfast. I was about to say, she's probably like gnawing on a loaf of bread or something. At least 24 hours. Yeah, maybe two. We'll call it two days. Two days? Yeah, we'll say. Um, can, can I go looking for real estate? <laughs> you gonna buy property? Maybe, depending on the price. With whose mm. with who's money, man? <laughs> the, the money I have currently. In Westbridge, you're looking for property. Yeah, I just want to see. It's it's a small. What's what's Westbridge like? It's a Thorpe. Okay. Oh God, that damn word again! <laughs> I think I think he just you just like to say it, Ted. I love to say Thorpe. So so, I'll I'll walk around and I'll I'll look just what properties what property there is. <laughs> okay, are you looking for land or are you looking for like? A house? What's what's the plan? Um. Uh, both. I want to know. I guess I want to know the, the pr 
prices of both. Okay. Um, I will tell you. So here in Westbridge, there is available. Um, let's see. There is like a small. I won't call it a shack, but like, like a small cabin. Westbridge is not a very big town, right? I imagine that you're trying to sell them an outhouse. You're like a used, like a really horrible, like no, no, it's it's like actually a like small a... house that you could purchase for like the house comes with maybe like a tenth of an acre of property around it, not much, right? But uh, that would probably run you. About we'll call it like five hundred gold is the is the current asking price. Okay. Uh, you don't know how long it's been on the market though. Um, right. Uh, so you know you might be able to negotiate down a little bit. Uh, there is a section of just like acreage, but again, Westbridge isn't really surrounded by the woods, so this is sort of like an open f- kind of grassy plain. Possibly could be used for farmland. There is, let's call it two acres, and we'll call it 1,500 gold pieces. 1,500 gold pieces. Okay. Cool. It's like the ones that stood out. The other ones were like, they're the kind of ones where you like, you you walk up to the house and you're like, I don't want it. I'm moving on. All right. Cool. That's all. That's, that's very, thank you for letting me know that information. Of course. Um, All right. Nothing comes of it just for, for now. Nothing comes of it right now, but thank you. Okay. Not what I anticipated, but all right. Um, <laughs> so that's okay. Hey, it is what it is. So you guys get back together, spell slots and health and all that is back. And we'll say you make it back to Westbridge. <laughs> you might say Igni's feeling refreshed. I, I might say that. <laughs> you might well. say that. So... <clears throat> Well, uh, is is Vanna just hanging out in town? Do we see this new shack he's purchased? Vanna would have noticed you guys from uh, like pretty far away. I feel like okay, we would uh, it would have been like I don't know, probably in the woods somewhere nearby. <laughs> when like a flying cat just kind of like plops in front of you. What do you have friend sense? <laughs> yeah. My friends. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Why not? Dr. Uh, Copernicus is probably just flying around doing whatever. Uh, do, but we don't see you. We just see Copernicus. You just see Copernicus. Like, you're just walking into town and he just, like, flies down and he's just like, what's up? Uh, he goes, well, Venon is here somewhere for we have found a lost animal. <laughs> Where there is lost <laughs> animal, Venon is nearby. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't imagine you guys are going to stay. Well, better yet, what's your guys... All right, so, Van and you, I guess, do you see them? Were you hang? What was your... Oh, point? Van and probably when did not... Did he go and have this hide tanned, or did he tan it himself? I mean, I don't have a tanning kit. <laughs> uh, do you think he would be able to? Probably, I yeah, mean, actually, working maybe, yeah. Expertise? Not like, probably wouldn't have, like, proficiency, but he'd probably know how to do it. Okay, so I will say you can make me a retroactive, uh, maybe two retroactive, we'll call them just, like, wisdom checks, or survival checks, if you have survival. Okay. Oh, that's an 18 plus something. Two wisdom, three proficiency. So, so okay. So 23 for the first one. All right. And then, whoa, my God, it's another 18. But you have three wins, okay. three wins. So 23 and 23. Yeah. So it's actually, tw- yeah, it's a uh, three proficiency bonus now. Oh, shit. So 26 and 26. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you were like, oh, I could totally tan this. And oh you my do. God. Oh, and you're level seven. I don't know if you got. Oh, the- right. I am level seven. I've got lots of spells now. Yes, Celeste, you weren't paying attention. Vannon took some levels in Cleric. Yeah, I'm Cleric up. 
That's right. Did, we, did you say who your deity is? It's John. <laughs> it's John. <laughs> I think you guys saw it at one point. I feel like we did. We've had this conversation. I'm having deja vu. Uh, yeah, same. I mean, Vannon right. doesn't know who it is, so you guys probably don't. Uh, oh, I mean, like, yeah, no, Igni doesn't have a clue. She has no interest in your deity. But Chelsea, um, Chelsea does. Yeah, same. <laughs> hey, I really like the dichotomy that he has built, because you picked, like, a nature god, but you're an arcana cleric. I really like it. Hmm. Well, it's kind of like the influence of, like, uh, two things. Yeah. No, no, I get it. I, I like the 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 cleric concept but then ozzy being the inspiration yeah i think that makes makes a lot of sense cool <laughs> i'm a fan so so yeah eventually you guys uh find each other and vannon has successfully tanned said dragon hide did you want to do anything with this hide uh you know what it'd probably take you two days just to tan it here right yeah, I'm going to say it probably took you two days just to tan it, because there was a lot, so. I've just been tanning for, like, 38 hours. Right. Do you have anything to show for it? I hold up the tan dragon hide. What color hide was it, by the way? It was a black dragon. Black dragon. Oh, cool. I hold up black tanned hide. So now we have Ooh. lots of hide. That's actually yes. impressive. And then I kind of, like, don it like a shawl. A little bit. <laughs> nice, nice. Ben, and I like these. It's very fashionable this it's season. Very nice one. Looks so snazzy. Yeah, right. I mean, it's black. So, Igni, do you want to try? <laughs> I hand it do over. Oh, are you saying something, Ben? And she like takes it from you and says, "Do you think I need another cape?" And she like throws it on over another cape, and you know. And it's it's very fabulous. Of I bet. <laughs> it feels fabulous, or maybe I just feel fabulous. Did he? Did you get that cloak bef last game? I forget because he doesn't know about your cloak. I have two. I have two cloaks on. Right, what? but he doesn't know about the one I think, or either of them. He, I don't well, think nobody. so. Not the Gen Con game, but the one before you. We there were some cloaks handed out, and I ended up for somehow with both of the cloaks. So I have a the short cloak oh, and a long cloak. cloak. And the yeah, so I ended up with both of them. So Dial Igni adorns both, and she's popped both collars. Duh. Of course. Oh, of course. All right. So, um, yeah, you guys are together, and you have some tanned dragon hide to do with what you wish. Oh man, I got so many spells. I Igni has no idea what she would even do with that. I was just gonna put it in the bag of holding. I might give it to Ozzy, I guess. Okay. Ozzy, bag of holding. Here you go. Bag open throw in and then i throw in a bunch of other knickknacks that i've picked up over the last couple of days oh and you guys have a second bag of holding now we do oh right who's got that i think igni does i do under this cape um <laughs> she throws one of them back and it's like hanging on the inside ha ha i throw some stuff in your bag of holding just random it's like twigs and stones Adam, why is... are you throwing what the stones in my bag also some candy oh the candy i understand oh that's not weird candy for you and it's a bag of holding so it's always fresh it is yes but Nothing mine does fresh. not want rocks or well mine is refrigerated igni's is not oh yeah are you saying your bag of holding is better than my bag of holding do you want the ice? You can have it if you want. I don't it. want ice. No, then that's fine. Really I'm just the ice. stating a fact. <laughs> so what now? Huh? That uh, I was my question for you. We go back to Summit Hall. I have to kind of let Lady Stormbanner know what, oh. what was really going on. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. We should probably get back to her. Yeah. This is true. And didn't you send for information before one? She looks over to Bu uh, Bucky. I mean, not to, to, I don't know who we are anymore. Um, over uh, to Ozzy, and she says, "You did? Did you get your letters back for your mom?" Oh no, no, we didn't get that back yet. I, oh. I told told to send it to um, where? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Wait, we, yes, we, did. we did get those back, didn't we? Yeah, you did. 
Yeah, you got, got like a response. Course. I got a response when I messaged, but, but we, I, I told uh, her to send info to. That's right. Uh, She's yeah. writing. And then it wasn't for more there stuff. when we got there. Right. She was very uh, flustered. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, all right. So the plan is to go back to Summit Hall then, from Westbridge. I don't know. Yeah, you think so? I say we should. Do we have a goal here? Do we have a goal? We were trying to rest and get outfitted properly before going into shopping episode. I mean, it can be. Where are you going to shop? Hmm? I don't think Summit Hall has very much. It's like an outpost, right? No, yeah, I mean, we'd have to like go somewhere to get outfitted, though, right? Yeah, it's basically Summit Hall um, is basically they have what they need to support their people. It's more of a barracks with like, you know, maintenance style stuff. You know, might find an extra suit of armor or a couple extra weapons, but probably not what you guys are looking for. I feel like we need to do a little bit of research. Should we go to Baldur's Gate? They got weird stuff in Baldur's Gate. I don't think that That's is a good idea. Away. Yeah, no. You heard stories, yes? No, she, she, she's no Baldur's Gate. And <laughs> Igni puts her finger and goes, no. I do not I think, want to go there. Igni, I think we have to go back, back to Waterdeep. Why? We go to Baldur's Gate, though. It's like, right? What? Is it close? Oh, Candlekeep is what was far away. Candlekeep is super cool. Okay. Baldur's the reason we need to go to a major city, I think we need to do some research. Because out of character, I don't think our characters still really know what's going on, right? Like, we kind of put together that obviously these, like, are cultists, and we can probably deduce that they're representing different elements. Like, we're not idiots. But I don't think we've done any kind of research on, like, any of these cults or what do we need to research exactly like we can research the cults but i don't know if there will be any records on like who they are i feel like they're fairly new well maybe we could i mean does any of us know much about elementals i, I know a bit that's basically oh. what my whole thing is based around <laughs> yeah yeah we've, i think we're gonna have to like ozzy knows the most i think we'll have to do like a powwow where we talk about like what's going on and um, figure out a plan of attack. Your wolf is very loud, or your fox is very loud. That was, yes. I didn't know foxes bark. I didn't know either. They do. They make weird <laughs> yappy sounds. Well, tell them be careful. Foxes okay. do make weird ass sounds. They they do. Do. It's so weird. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is you're going to go to a major city. Is that what I'm gathering? Baldur's Gate. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate? Then he wants to go to know. Baldur's Gate. Igni does not want to go to the Baldur's Gate. What's wrong with Baldur's Gate? I, is it, no, I, I think here is what Igni thinks. Not that anybody cares until it is too late. <clears throat> but I think we should go back, see Lady Stormcrab. Fill her in, because she still thinks we are out and about. Uh, we do not want her to think we have perished at hands of, of fire hag that did not exist. Mm -hmm. um, then we do not go to Waterdeep. I think more information is important. Uh, so was the decision we did not get the information back from your mother? Because we yet. have some pretty specific information. So that's yeah, I told her to send it to yeah. Summit Hall. So if we are looking for information, we should probably go back to Summit Hall to make sure that the information we have already asked for is- Oh, totally, yeah. I gotta go there regardless. I, I, no matter what, I have to go report to Lady Storm Banner and update her that we've taken care of the problem at this homestead. Yeah. Um, I guess what was... most, I mean, I feel like we've realized that with these cultists, there's a hierarchy. We know a couple of names. So I was thinking it'd be good to research these names to see if we can oh, find anything. Yes. And there might be connections to finding the leaders of the other cults. It's true. I am interested in this uh, scary place underground, you know, with doors of, of four elementals, yeah? 
uh, that seems like uh, not just anybody goes, well, here, let me dig giant maze underground. Uh, there has to be some kind of history, uh, maybe right, yeah. purpose. So uh, it might be interesting to do some research on dwarven history, um, since it was dwarven, right, Vannon? It was. Oh, well, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? Well, there's like two kinds of dwarves. They're all the there's same, though. More than two what? types of dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> the most racist conversation there ever. <laughs> well, I mean, to Bannon, like, he's like, this way he says there are two oh, kinds. Okay, but they still dwarf, yeah? Kind of. They do different things. Okay. Uh, can you suspect the uh, underground place was potentially um, created by them? Yes. So, see, this is, I, I am with you. I think Lilith is right. We should go back. We are uh -huh. safe there, too. And just uh, see what we can find out. We have a lot of loose ends. Well, we're going to have to pit stop at Summit Hall, but the, uh, that outpost doesn't have much of a library. We're going to have to figure out where we're going to go to do this research. And hopefully where this uh, a substantial library that might be able to help us out would also have decent shops where we could get more health potions and um, so you, maybe you want to go back way. to Waterdeep. We can't go back. It's an Waterdeep. option, but if there's another city that you guys can think of, then, you know, like that would be good. We, uh, Igni and I can't go to Waterdeep. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, okay. I mean, you can, but. Bannon's like pretty serious. Haven't we come across <laughs> libraries in places? Last time I checked, we had libraries after slaughter. Oh, say again? Right? Didn't Wasn't there a library in um, uh, Feather Hill Spire? And there was one inside of... Um, there was other libraries. Right? Am I crazy, Ted? I was just going to say, a, a, like, a, like no, a crazy. municipal library. I'm not crazy, yeah. I mean, our best buddy Lich friend had a great library. This is true. I mean... <laughs> You guys know how much Lilith loves visiting Renwick, Carrie. <laughs> She's got like a deity crush on him. Like totally despite the fact that he's a lich. It's like the kin of her deity. She's like, oh, I really want to go visit him. Yeah, we can go. Well, why yeah, don't we, why don't we get to Summit Hall? I'll see what uh, my mother sent if it's there, what information I get from that. And then if we need more, we can decide where to go after that. Sounds like a plan. Let's do this one step at a time. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a starting point. And uh, Bucky, remind me, because I don't have my original notebook here, what you sent, or what you asked for your mother. Um, I was thinking of Neverwinter. Neverwinter is the place that is about as close to us as Waterdeep is. Correct. And a little more sophisticated. Although Baldur's Gate has been on the rise since the fall of Neverwinter, Several years ago, but it's since rebounded. So I wrote them like message. Baldur's Gate's the hipster town. Neverwinter is going to be more like okay. We yeah, well, it was it was a booming, and library. then a volcano blew up, and it literally was booming, and then got yeah. mostly destroyed, and then now it's on the rebuild. Okay, hmm. so I wrote down the message I sent my mom, which was, "Hey, mom, it's Ozzy. Need info? Elemental cults." Ancient Dwarven Ruins in the Deserin Valley, Ogremok, Lycanthropy, cure, Lycanthropy Cures, <laughs> I'm at Summit Hall, love you. That's right, okay, and she gave you some stuff, she I think. She gave me Prince of Elemental Earth, The Mountain That Walks, Earth Primordial, Creates Gargoyles, Summons Elementals, Sferf Neblin War, and Black Earth. Gotcha, cool, okay. All right, so we'll say you guys make your way to Summit Hall. Uneventfully. Does anybody know how much money we have? Oh, yes. A lot. Of course, of course I do. Well, I have 1,097 gold pieces. I'm broke. Uh, spent... Well, the group still has quite a lot of gold and things. How much I'm... did you spend? I spent... The last thing I spent money on were my boots and your boots, which I think together were like four. And the shack you just bought. I haven't bought the shack. I thought you bought the, the no. house. I just looked. Just I haven't looked at this window shopping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gauging the market. 
I spent all my money on tattoos. He did do that. <laughs> we got plenty of money. Like we've got five thousand gold sitting between all of us. At the no big. Oh damn. Yeah, we're good. I think I've got like six hundred gold. Five fifty. Five fifty. Yeah, all right. right. You got it. So, you guys travel on your way back towards Summit Hall. <clears throat> uh. And in that travel, uh, let's see, Igni, yeah. you, something happens. Oh, no. Nothing bad, probably. Maybe not. Um, okay, if you come across a tapestry with a map to some temple on the back um and it, it it's it's not like carved or sewn it's sort of scrawled on the back and it's to some crocodile god you don't know if it's real or not but it's it looks like a real map um uh, I just find it randomly, like, on the side of the road, or... Yep, pretty much. Oh! Looky! <laughs> I, like, hold it up. Well, that's cool. No, he's got a map. I see that. It's the crocodile god. Nobody cares? I mean, it's cool. I mean, I care that you care. You seem, like... very, you seem very happy about it. She just, like, rolls it up. <laughs> Throws it over her shoulder. Fine. <laughs> Do I know anything about this crocodile gun? Um, you can make me a religion check. I can try. You could. I can try. A croco dragon. Oh, with the, a 17, crew. 17, not bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's this great croc, croco dragon, apparently. No, gator, gator dragon. That's <laughs> the word. A gator dragon. Uh, no, um... It would be just, you know, the little bits that you know um, is, yeah, there is references in some texts, but not that you read. Uh, so, you know, that you've heard about about a, a crocodilian god, an anthropomorphic crocodile god, supposedly has powers, uh, you know, deity-like powers, not greater deity, but lesser deity. Uh, and, yeah, we'll, we'll go with Sobek, right? That's a... Egyptian deity of crocodile deity. So yeah, and they exist in the D and D world, at least in the Forgotten Realms. Sure. Uh, uh, does it look to be owned by someone? Is this scribble have a signature? No signature. Um, again, it is scrawled, but it seems to outline the general shape of this temple, wherever it might be. Um, yeah. Interesting. And okay, Ozzy, donkey. So, um, I just hang on to this because it is map and, uh, you know, when I am done doing whatever it is we are doing, we could take no attention, yeah? Yeah. To go find this crocodile. What's he got there? <laughs> it, well, what do you mean? Ben peering over your shoulder. It's a map! It, he says it, she like rolls it out. I said it. Look, it's tapestry with, 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 with map. Uh, oh, anyway. Okay, cool. And then oh. it keeps going. Also Nothing designates you're... where this thing's located, where this um, the building or the facility that this map is uh, linked to. Nope, unfortunately. And also while you're traveling, Ozzy, you find a stone disc. Like a disc about, I can't actually see. About this big, roughly oh. flat stone disc. But it can grow a uh, gum. Let me rephrase. It can get red hot on command. Oh, cool. So like a hot plate, I guess. I'm just going to call it a hot plate. There you go. And wait, am I, am I to understand that Ozzy just got a hot plate? Yes. Yeah, I just got a hot plate. And you got a crocodile map tapestry. I do not know what it does, but uh, it is nice. Trinkets, man. I think it's over that way. I just point in a direction. 
He doesn't know what you're talking about. He doesn't know where it is. So, uh, you guys make your way back to Summit Hall relatively uneventfully, other than those two items that you procure. Um, so, you have returned. Is there anything, I think Lilith, you specifically said you wanted to go talk to Lady Stormbanner and fill her in on what had happened? Yeah. Yeah, just like to give her a situation report. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you do, and you fill her in on everything. And she is, you know, a little... She's a little kind of, not upset, but like, you know, you only get, you can only give your people as much information as they, as you're given. So she's a little like, sorry she sent you on this mission to deal with a crazy halfling grandpa and not a fire witch. But, uh, I mean, we're, I'm here to serve, Lady Storm Banner, whatever you need. And, uh, you know, she... Which has nothing else for you at the moment, so you're free, free to go, as you see fit, and she'll summon you again, if the need arises. Awesome. She salutes, like, the exit ceremoniously. Okay. We've yeah. met this person a bunch of times now, right? Mm-hmm. Lady Stormbear. Yeah. So we're like relatively friendly. Like, hello again. I didn't get the feeling that you went in, that it was just Lilith that went to speak with her. Oh, every single time? Okay. Well, at least the more recent times, anyway. Um, That makes sense, actually. So, uh, you do that. Ozzy, uh, while you're there, there is a note waiting for you. Uh, Actually, I guess there's two notes waiting for you. Oh. One is the first one I'm going to send you. Uh on slack right now oh oh, there it is the second one is not an actual written note it's just from your mom and i'll tell you what she says okay so you can go ahead that was the letter i was going to send you oh okay but uh you it's a pack it's a note but it comes with a package a parcel as well oh Oh. cool uh, so i'll read the note Yes. Like, they'll see me reading a note, and I'll say, Dear fellow adventurers, though I have not met you before, I feel as though I have heard many things about you. You have recently met my party members, both Leo and Roswin, and they spoke very highly of you. To welcome you to the fold, and thank you for keeping my friends safe as they ran off without me, I have enclosed the following items for you, for your use, and perhaps you can find a better use for them. I've also included a sending stone. I will give the other to Roswin so you can be in constant contact if ever needing assistance, and if I'm not being too presumptuous, I hope vice versa. Be well on your journey, and may this letter bring you joy and light. Your new friend, Odilla Chikelu? Uh, yeah, I think that's right. So, amidst, aside from that, inside this little parcel is a thousand gold pieces. Oh, what? Hey, Ozzy's rich again. <laughs> um, there is the sending stone that was mentioned. Awesome. And I'll say for all intents and purposes, these have been identified for you. Okay. Um, there's an Ayun Stone of Sustenance. There is a Ring of Poison Resistance. There is a Ring Beset with a Star staff, a star Sapphire. No magical value, just a very pretty, very expensive ring. Um, a vial of blood that is orangish in color and constantly bubbles. She doesn't know what that does. And a spell book. Oh. With many spells contained within. Hmm. That I will provide to you shortly. Awesome. Um... Okay, so we know. Just give the book to Ozzy. <laughs> <That was laughs> just really like cool. holding on to it. Like, oh, I wasn't gonna give this. No, this, this, no, this, this is. I don't even. Right can you guys I have... are really nice. Yeah, she goes. Can I have the pretty one? That that uh, yeah, one. Yeah, go ahead. That's yours. Igni takes the star sapphire ring. Yeah, uh, and I will tell you, Igni. Let me just 
flip to the proper page here to tell you how much that ring is worth. I'm not saying that you try to sell it, but if you did. It's um, worth your life. You put it on and you die. <laughs> there you go. That's my luck. Uh, the gemstone is worth about a thousand gold. Holy! Oh my god. That's a fancy gemstone. Igni goes, gave us so much money. Uh, excuse me, would you like to marry me, Igni? Oh yes, Igni, I'd love to marry you, Igni. He's like, <laughs> very enamored with herself. <laughs> <laughs> So the Iron Stone of Sustenance, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure while you have it circling your head, you don't need to eat. Oh. But I will confirm that for you. Yeah, I don't think you really need anything. Um, you don't need to eat or drink while this clear spindle orbits your head. Yeah. That's pretty cool, especially if you're stranded cool. somewhere like, mm, I don't know, the Underdark? Killer. Mm -hmm. uh, then, yeah, again, a ring of poison resistance. And... Can we try it, to identify this bubbly orange blood? Yeah, I was going to say, can I identify it? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, then you can take the time to cast identify. Yeah. I'll All take right. the 10 minutes. Let's see. Um, I'll find out, because I think this was a trinket that was just, like, orangish. Oh, okay. Nope, maybe it wasn't. I um it might be an actual item uh oh okay and they're just like now let's just not mess with that i had full intention of having this all figured out ahead of time and then i didn't do that um hmm let's go with a potion this will function we'll say as a potion of diminution so one that makes you shrink that's so awesome i love those potions oh well that's cool and the spell book um I will actually need to take some time, but it's of a ninth level spellcaster, so someone who's two levels higher than you and has all of their spells. That's super cool. Yeah. You do not have to go through that now, because I'm going to take some time going through that. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> so that parcel is there for you. I will pick up the sending stone and immediately say, Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll have to message Katie and see what she says in response. Um, so, uh, your mother's letter um, doesn't have all of the information that you asked about, but does. Uh, there's a very long letter from your. Uh, that your mother has penned with input from your sister about curing lycanthropy mm -hmm. and the different ways to go about doing that cool. um spells that can be used natural remedies things to stave off the beast within etc although uh Not anymore but cool and it seems like that one is written in like a hasty hand as as though a worried mother and like <laughs> there's a ton like most of the work is provided on that because you're like cures for like for werewolfism uh and instant mom mode is like oh my god my son's a werewolf uh so there's a lot of that as far as um ancient dwarven ruins uh now you just that was all you had said was what was in the sending right you didn't provide much extra context um limited on words yeah so she will send you sort of some information to tell you that basically the only other thing that was, at least in the area that you're in, uh, and I, I'm not sure if you guys know this already, but there was a there was an ancient dwarven city, massive city, or settlement, kingdom, if you will, known as, uh, I think I've said it before, like T.R. Bezel. Mm -hmm. So that was a massive dwarven city that at one point... Uh, had controlled a large portion of the region. Um, and that is probably, you know, that's 
no one really knows where it is. Like, they know that it existed, and it was supposedly even a surface colony when it was first created. And then it, over time and through various, you know, uh, wars and such and whatnot and, and, you know, being lost to history, no one knows where those ruins are. But they're supposed to be vast and sprawling and, you know, expert craftsmanship. Um, and you also asked about... I guess she'll kind of just detail furthermore about Ogremoth, because you mentioned that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Expanding on what you had to say that there's... Um, I think it's Edermach is the opposite of... Oh, it's like Ogremoth's brother, and they, he's like the good earth elemental deity, as far as things go, uh, and is, you know, venerated by the Surf Neblin. Um, but his influence has long since been lost to them so they have they suffer from this uh what they call ogremox bane which is the inability to control earth elementals the way they once used to be able to um so it's really a big bummer for them but it is a primordial of earth that's supposed to be relative like if it was ever to appear fully into the material realm would uh would cause nothing but bad stuff and uh, did you ask anything else specifically? Uh, no, that was it. Okay. I asked for oh, elemental cults also. Any information she had on elemental cults? Uh, I mean, she can provide you the names. Uh, like, again, just because it, it seems like there's a lot that she is writing relatively quick to get you as much as she could. She'll provide you the names of the cults, although I'm not sure if you guys already have those. Yeah, we have all of those. Yeah, so. That is about it at the moment. And then, again, pretty much just echoing things that you guys kind of already know that the different ways they act, the different things they use, methods, and uh, that's about it. Well, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Your mother sent you all this. Uh, well, my mother sent me this information. This package with all these things in it is from um, a friend of the recent friends we've made. A friend of friend. Leo and Roswin, who we just met. Right, and Odell. Their friend Odella sent us this stuff. Odell. Roswin was cool. Roswin was cool. Leo yeah. was cool. Did you guys just, like, even see I didn't armor? meet the Leo. It's okay, <laughs> <cool>. trust me. <laughs> I mean, he made me fly, so he was pretty cool. It's, it's, it's just true. Okay, so what now? Um, well, first we should divvy up the stuff. Oh, yes, no, I have... <laughs> poison resistance? I'd be happy with, I mean, I don't know. You're you gonna want poison? Keep you it. know you, you want. You money, right? Put the money? You, yeah, you, you don't have any money, right? No. I was gonna say, I put uh, the money just in the pot. I have a... That's a, fine. I just put it in. I don't need personal oh. funds, really. If I need to, money for anything, I'll just ask Digny. Um... Everybody's just asking Igni for money. <laughs> so this is like everybody's there. sugar mama. <laughs> so this stone here, yes. if it floats around your head, you um don't have to eat or drink anything. Ever. Interesting. It is one way to diet. Uh, I might... Wait. Does it require attunement? It does. The stone requires attunement, as does the ring of poison resistance. Now that does not mean, Vannon, that you you can't eat. You can still have maple candies. I was about to ask. Okay. <laughs> there is also this ring of poison, and we never actually nailed down what these 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 bubbling blood was. Oh, um, the blood is actually a potion. It will make you shrink. <gasps> oh, wow. tiny potion. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, guys, 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 guys. Wait, wait, wait. Imagine it. Tiny Ozzy. Imagine this. Tiny Copernicus. Oh! Oh my god, that would be so small and <laughs> cute. Oh. Okay. So we have things. Uh, but, and, and we now have some information. 
but it still does not tell us what it is we are to do. I mean, we can go back to the door with 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 the, the elemental things and knock knock and go into dungeon. Do but what feel... is it that we look for? Right. What what do we exactly need information on? Like, I don't know. I mean, we, I do we want to stock up, right? I mean, I feel like stocking up would be helpful. Maybe we should find larger city and 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 locate library and let you do whatever it is your brain does. I'm fine with that. Lilith, what are your thoughts? Can I see that stone? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I pass it over. Quality, but... Hey, I'll take it. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> he hands it back. Like, <laughs> What's Virginia and my mom coming by again? I know. I know. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? I, I honestly just want to make sure that we. We could go to Neverwinter. Sleep. Can I have the lights on, Claire? No. What Thanks. Do, what no. was that? You want to make sure what? Please? Sorry. Um, we could go to Neverwinter. Yeah, I think that way. Obviously, the only other option would be Waterdeep, and we don't, for both of y'all's safety, we should probably avoid that. I actually know Neverwinter a little bit. I've never been. I'd like to go. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean... Did you want I the think... stone, Lilith? No, no, I just wanted to see it. It looked really cool. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I we, think we should I'm go to Neverwinter. Too. I'm mostly concerned about... I need to... Um, I just feel like for the sake... Like, for strategy's sake, we should have a plan. Because the last time we went up against... Um, one of these cultist superiors, we almost died. Yeah, that was really, um, that was really stress, stressful. Yeah. I, yep, I was, it was super I stressful, was really and we also know that they're packing some, uh, heat, literally, from that last encounter, um, <laughs> which was also difficult, so, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, and we're not gonna have a third time, so I think... Um, my battle sensibilities are telling me that it's vital that my I'm going to beeline it to a, a library and do some research and okay. uh, stockpile some some stuff to help us out. Well, um, there is one thing I do have at my disposal. Um, Lilith, <laughs> do you know of some place where we can be more private here? Me, with me? Like all of us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm like, what did you want to talk no. about? No, all of us in a, in a room. Well, yeah, we can. We can what just do you want leave. To talk about Ozzy. S- super secret meeting. Um, we would have to discuss it in private with no one else around. I mean, should we hit the road towards Neverwinter? It's we pretty private out in the wilderness. Well, nowhere's more private than an empty road. Nowhere's. All right. Yeah, we can talk about it on the road. Okay. Chop chop. We're all just like, is everything? Is it, it's okay? You're okay. Yeah, I'm a bit. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, do I still? I have my Geo Dude, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I forgot. We have Geo Dude and Geo Nid. They both, yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. There's two of them. But yes. Okay. So you guys leave then? Yes. Yeah. We had off to Neverwinter. Winter. We'll say for all intents and purposes. Um, I mean, it would take some time to get this. I'm all take a few days. You stay there. You get whenever you decide to leave. You get some food beforehand. You know, stock up a little bit. Get a little bit to eat so you're not traveling on an empty stomach. And then you set out for Neverwinter. I also want to say during that time, I send a sending message to uh, Lilith's butler friend just to check up on him and see how he's doing. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, you... yeah. Win- uh, Winston. 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 Uh, you get a response that he has uh, settled in Fandolin. And uh, he seems, he says it's a big change. Uh, see, well, it's sending, so 25 words. Let me rephrase. Yeah, yeah. Um, settled in Fandolin. That's three words. Uh, not four. Um, big change from the city. 
really nice pumpkin patch. <laughs> oh yeah, he loved Halloween. It was his favorite holiday. Yeah, he's <laughs> learned so much about Winston. Um, he says, uh, "Cave nearby." Nearby is one word. Um, magic forge, special metals. He's apparently versed in how to use sending as well. As well as question marks. Uh-huh. Winston uh, would be that like awesome rich family butler that would give all the kids like full size Snicker bars and shit. Yeah, he totally. Oh, would. Yeah. for sure. Only yeah. full size candy bars. Oh yeah. And he says, "Talk soon." As his last two. Yeah, I'll relay all of that to Lilith, so she can know that Winston's doing good. She's like delighted. She's like, "Thank you." Thanks, Ozzy. Oh, good. Okay. Um, was that what you wanted to talk about on the road, or no? No. No, no, no. <laughs> Not even close. I was like, that doesn't sound that secretive, but... No. I was about to say, I was like, did I just miss something? So yeah, while we're on the road, sounds... I'll say... <clears throat> so, you guys remember back when we were in Waterdeep? And, uh... Vanden did something really stupid. Uh, and he put that which god time? Off on he put that god yep. necklace around my neck? Yes. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about that again. That was. That nice. was drinking night. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, you were acting super weird that mm -hmm. night. I didn't realize it was from a necklace that you were wearing. Yes, that uh, necklace was um, imbued with magic that makes the wearer overly confident. <laughs> and I... well, it worked in your favor that night. <laughs> right. Uh, in ways you could probably never even understand. Um, so something happened that night. I and I, oh. No, not that. Something... I stole something. Oh. Ozzy! Congratulations! And I, like, hug you. Vannon, like, sighs so loudly. <laughs> She's no, like, ah, The only reason man? I bring this up is because yeah. it's a very important home that may have so... information that on um, things that we're looking for oh well this well, is good news why do you want to be secretive about it we're not gonna i'm not gonna turn it in lilith have you ever heard of volo's guide to monsters have i yeah you would have it's a it is you know it's the in-world equivalency of like the monster manual written by volo um so it's basically a encyclopedia of oh, okay. all monsters of the realms. That's probably how I learned about werewolves or whatever. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so uh, in in like an encyclopedia way, right? So there was a there's editions, right? So a first edition is rare and usually really cool, but it's been updated constantly as more things are found, new monsters are identified, new knowledge about those monsters. And and again, like these kind of, like there it's a tome but you know in school they may give you like a broadsheet of like a type of monster for worksheets or you know, there's like smaller little versions like oh this is Volo's guide to monsters fey and right it's like just a section of the book to give you some like, idea right like zoo books you all remember those yes oh, yeah. exactly oh, yeah. exactly what i was thinking <laughs> zoo books were the shit um <laughs> so well it's like yeah yeah of course uh what what you stole that? That's not a big deal. Well, it kind of is, because I stole a priceless signed copy. Oh, whatever. It's all material objects. Um, it's true. Um, why? Yeah. It, I mean, this is Ozzie, anybody Ozzie, concerned? Tell, tell them how much it's worth. I don't want to know how much it's worth because Probably then that not. will stoke my. I no. don't. For your sake, Ozzy, don't tell me how much it's worth. Um, I'm assuming you took this not in your own state of mind. Nope. Nope. I was very much not because I would never would have done this. Absolutely. So it's all good. And she pats you like heavily on the head and shoulder, like just But claps the you important on the back. thing is that it has information on quite possibly any creature we could think of in the known world. So on top of you not being um, <gasps> yourself uh, while well, stealing this, it also happens to benefit the party. So it good job. It does. Does he talk about the Mandusa? 
I don't know. I haven't actually looked into it yet. Well, Ozzy, what better time than the road? The better question is, does Igni ask how much is worth? <laughs> oh, wait. Is that a, a topic of commerce? Is it valuable? Yeah, because he just said, like... Uh, priceless signed copy. Priceless signed oh, copy. Oh, I missed the, the priceless copy. I got the signed part. <laughs> oh, I see. And a book is priceless? <laughs> yes, it can be. Why? <laughs> because of what's in it and in it. <laughs> That's not the important part that we have to pay attention to. The important part is that it has information on what we may be encountering. So what if so I want can... to sell such things? Don't. It'll if help. someone found out that you had this, many people would start asking why. Oh, also, you, they'd probably figure out a way to track you. And kill you and steal it. As well as, um, we're going to pretend it doesn't exist right now and crack it open and start reading while we're on the road. Who's riding on Get Gremlin with me? Uh, I am, but I cannot read. So. I'll read it as we're going. <laughs> well, <laughs> read it out loud, Ozzy! You know what, Ozzy? I'll give you one spell. I'll tell you one spell that's in that spell book in case this impacts things. Okay. Phantom Steed is oh, in that spell book. Oh, shit! That might. Yeah. Hold on. Ooh, it's the third level. And it's a ritual. Oh, shit. It only lasts an hour, though. Yeah, but it's not concentration. It only takes ten minutes to cast it. Mm. Mm. Also, I think it's befitting of slightly darker Ozzy to be riding around on a nightmare. We could just um, fast travel. <laughs> yeah, you know, just open the menu. It's fine, as long as you're not in combat. It just gotta get down. And then yeah, open up the map. map. You know what? Click I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that one to my spell book. So I'm gonna spend 150 of the thousand that we just ha got. Does it work differently with spell books? If I'm copying, no, it's, it's the same. same from, it's the same thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna add Phantom Steed. Mm -hmm. So the better question is, could Ozzy with the elemental spectrum? Summon a phantom steed that has like lightning hair instead of like fire hair. Oh, using I mean, his I'm sweet. I'm gonna leave tack. that up to you if you could let me. Yeah, do that. sure. Why not? Sure. Cool. An ice nightmare. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, so I can do this now, and I sit down for ten minutes, and I summon an ice horse. Oh, so what can I do with your horse now? Also. It can fly, because it's a nightmare. My I can man. do this, and I start flying on my oh. horse. Oh. Well, <laughs> I put oh, cool. Geodude close. <laughs> I have... Uh, yeah. I have yet to... Oh, I haven't shown Ben in my tricks. I you haven't. I tricks. But the one, <laughs> down, the one downside to, to this, though, is that he my horse only lasts an hour, and then he goes away. And then I have oh, to read Well, you know. No, nothing good lasts forever. It's cool. Right? I, I don't fly, think you but... want to sit on a frozen pony's back for too long. It's no. not, probably not good Let's for you. Oh, so, that's the logistics of these. So the logistics of this, because I've dealt with one before. So, first of all, one, um, if you chose to do ice mm -hmm. while riding it, uh, you are also resistant to ice damage Ooh. while riding it. Uh, it has a 90-foot fly speed. Holy shit. Holy and a, moly! And a 60-foot land speed. Damn. It has 68 hit points. Its attacks do 2d8 plus 4 bludgeoning plus 2d6 ice damage. And it can take you and up to 3 willing creatures within 5 feet into the ethereal plane with it. And travel through the ethereal plane. That's amazing. Is that faster? How much faster is that? It's no faster. Right. Um, because the ethereal plane, you could just move through things. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Like, you could go through a mountain, right? Theoretically, yeah. then over it. Um, but it doesn't... 
if you brought you and three other people to the material plane, to the ethereal plane, they're still there with whatever modes of transportation they have. You right. could move on the horse till it disappears, but if it disappears while wow. you're there, then you don't have a way back to you. And if you're in a mountain, yeah, then you die. And you yeah. die. Yeah. Anyway. Phantom Steve. Hey. So, uh, let's keep going. Go Neverwinter. And I'll read this, I guess. That right. We're going to be on the road for, like... Forget to even exist. How many days? From Neverwinter, or from Summit Hall to Neverwinter? That'll be it. You'll be on the road for a little while, yeah. Yeah. Road so you'll have a lot of time to just read that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll have... It's going to be... We're going to be stopping every ten minutes. Or every hour. So we'll have a lot of breaks. That sounds like fun. Yeah, right? You'll be stopping every so often. I mean, unless he chooses to just cast it. Uh, so, let's see. Summit Hall to Neverwinter. Yeah. Um, I guess the question is, are you going back across the stone bridge, that thing you guys hate where you have to, like, shimmy across? Or are you going to go south and then north? Um... I feel like at this point we have crossed bridge twice. I think so, yeah. If we do it once, twice, three times. I feel like we can handle it. Lady, how long, yeah. how long did it take to cross the stone bridge? Uh, it was like 200 feet across. I think. Oh, okay. We could just go into the ethereal plane and walk across it and then get to the other side. <laughs> yeah. I have to worry about getting blown over. That's true. Um, Alright, so it'll be... What is this? And that's actually pretty dope, like mind-wise, mind imagination-wise. So we're just riding along and then like three just turn to specters and then make it to the other side and then we're on the other side and then we're not specters anymore it's like what happened those All people right. must be magical or something Saw some ghosts so it'll probably i think just to round it off and make it easy we'll just call it a 10 day so 10 total so like a faerunian week 10 days to get to neverwinter via or from from Summit Hall at your current travel pace. Okay. Uh, we don't really encounter anything on our own? Well, it's the dangerous Sumber Hills, you know. Oh, yeah. never the dangerous any... Sumber Hills that have been not not dangerous at all. Yeah. We are the danger of Sumber Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, all the, the, the like, critters and surrounding animals have, like, no one recognized as we pass through. Like, ooh, Just, like, yeah, we're not going to hunt those guys. No. <laughs> yeah stay far away yeah no you guys are able to make it there relatively uneventfully Sweet. unfortunately for me every time ozzy starts reading igni falls asleep <laughs> right yeah. on lilith's back so you see uh what's it called you see this 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 thick gilded edged you know the pages are gilded thick black tome with gold filigree and, and overland, like uh, outlandish writing on the front cover, uh, in gold is the Bolo's Guide to Monsters. And then you see as Ozzy flips it open, there is again like a John Hancock that's really big and over dramatic Bolo sign on the inside cover. Um, and it does not seem to have war be like worn or faded at all over time. And then there is, you know, handwritten, very precisely, um, tight handwriting uh, for the various uh, different monsters. And there are, like, con for the intents and purposes, like, concept art sketches uh, of each of the monsters as you're flipping through. So in this time frame of roughly 10 days, I assume you're just basically reading this book. Yeah, I would assume so. All I'm going to be doing. Uh, what about the rest of you while he's reading, and you guys are traveling? Anything's just worth I'll mentioning? I'll be while, while he's sleeping, because I'm allowed to now. Oh, okay. Igni sleeps every time they read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Lilith is like tuning in and like paying attention to what you're talking about. Ask, she'll probably ask questions. Like, I've oh, secretly okay. already read half of it, so it's going to be really fast for me. Gotcha. And you guys are just gonna think I'm some kind of master speed reader. 
All right. I think she'll probably want more discussion than actual reading because she's going to be like probably on guard while we're traveling. That makes sense. Um, so what were you trying to discern? What were you reading up on specifically? I would probably say elementals. Elementals. Learn about elementals. Okay. Um, so, um, I guess without belaboring it too much, which I can to an extent, but basically anything that you can read in the monster manual about an elemental, you have access to all of that information. Um, but basically there are four kind of prime elementals, right? Air, earth, fire, water. There are other kinds of elementals, lesser elementals, and elemental is not just a type of creature. I'm sorry, it isn't just a creature, it's also a type of creature. So there are, like, the fire elemental you encountered is an elemental, but so are the magmans and the mephits and things like that. So it's kind of a little confusing where things can be both an elemental or an elemental type. Um... As you've learned through your magical uses, they are not home to this plane of existence. So things that shunt them to their home plane removes them from ours. Um, certain magics can conjure and control them. Uh, you yourself would have potentially have access to some of those spells. Um, but uh, typically, that magic is temperamental. So if one's concentration is interrupted, typically the elemental stays... Uh, and just wreaks havoc till it eventually it is returned to its home plane. So if you run across creatures controlling elementals, with the exception of certain magic items that let you do that, you may be able to break their concentration and then it just adds a wild card to the battlefield. Um, they don't need to eat, sleep, or drink, and they don't need air. Um... Earth elementals can swim through the ground as easily as though it was water for an average person. Um, you know that uh, fire elementals are exceptionally weak to water-based attacks. does a ton of extra damage to them. Um, you know, fire elementals have the ability to set things upon, on fire. Um... Yeah, I think that's... Uh, fire elementals are the only ones that don't have any kind of additional movement option, right? Elemental... Earth can go underground, air elementals can fly, and water elementals can swim, or fire pretty much just stuck walking around. Uh, Non-magical weapons don't have much use against them. Uh, I guess also one of the things you'd be looking for if there's any information about, like, more powerful elementals. So... Yes. Well, they'll be mostly inter interested in ways to exploit their weaknesses. Okay. Hey, Ted. Yes. Since we've last done this. Yes. But I actually leveled up last time. Okay. We talked about it. I took that level in Ranger. Okay. Ranger, Ranger or Cleric? Ranger. Okay. So you. So you are. What is that? Seven and one? Or no, six and one. Six and one. Six and one. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Because it gives me greater favorite enemy. Makes, Makes sense. Remember, that's why I was reading the book at night. That's right. I knew that. I was just testing you. It's been like a it's been like a month and a half since we talked about this, so I don't. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, let me see. Uh, you would know, similar to what you know about Ogremok, there are several other. Um, what they call as princes of the... We'll just call them princes of elemental evil. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and try to pussyfoot around it. You have a first edition copy here. So, Ogremok would be the one for Earth. There's Emix, I-M, or Imix, I-M-I-X, is the elemental prince uh, of fire, also known as the all-consuming fire or the eternal flame. Um, there is, what we got here, uh, Alhydra is the water-based one, and that is Alhydra, the crushing wave, or the well of endless anguish, and Yon Si Bin, that's Y-A-N, 
hyphen the letter C capitalized hyphen B I N is the prince of evil air, uh, the shadow of the four winds or the howling hatred. You're starting to realize that the names of the cults have a correlation to these greater elemental evils. Um, there are also um, things called myrmidons, which are exceptionally powerful elementals that are ritually bound and, and into suits of armor. Um, so they uh, plate armor specifically. Uh, in this form, they possess no recollection of their former existence as free elementals, and they exist only to follow the commands of their creators, and they are significantly stronger than the base elementals that you've encountered thus far. They also have a pension for wielding weapons. And the pictures look pretty cool. Let me see if I have a concept art picture I can show you. Um... This would be really cool if I had that. Let me see. Um, did you have anything else you were looking up other than that? Um, I think based on the situation that we were in, that would be the thing of most interest to Ozzy right now, would be learning as much about elementals as he could. Uh, I would assume that there wouldn't be more information about the princes, because Volo probably never met the actual princes, because he would be dead. Correct. Oh, I can also I can understand Primordial now. That's cool. Uh, so, without revealing too much, I can show you the pictures of the Myrmidons. Right. So. You look badass. Yeah. And terrifying. Yeah. yeah. You look really scary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I guess you could just discern from the pictures that the air one wields a flail, the earth one wields a maul. The fire one wields dual scimitars, and the water one wields a trident. So yeah, that one I'm like, and this thing's called Marbinance. Oh, God. <laughs> Lilith, you need to see these. And I just, like, pass the book to Lilith so she can look at the pictures. <laughs> yeah. Um, they are pretty nasty. But yeah, that would basically be all he'd be interested in researching and, like, kind of taking notes off to the side about the different things and different weaknesses and things that we could exploit if we happen to fight them uh yeah i guess as far as the princes um obviously they're a high powerful not necessarily deity level but they're they've got significant power so cult worship makes sense in that respect mm -hmm. um they don't seem uh yeah i guess you can just get like little snippets they don't seem to really um get along like fire and water, some could say. Um, so they may have the same goals, but they don't necessarily agree with one another. So there's the potential for something there. That's something. That's exploitation right there. Um, uh, this, uh, and they don't have any kind of grandiose plans. I'll read you this section here. Um, their evil is blind, destructive, and hungry. They hate the way the world is made and the natural laws that constrain their favored elements. They resent the gods who shaped the world and the mortals for whom the world was shaped, especially mortals who seek to impose their will on the elements. Uh, the princes unleash natural catastrophes whenever they can. And uh, basically, they're, they're not like this grand thinking. They're not planning things out, right? They're just a, like... Almost like a natural disaster incarnate. Um, but with the power to back it up. So. Um, that's what you're able to discern. Uh, if you have questions. Um, oh, and I guess you would also know there are other elemental princes as well. Oh. For other things like Bwim, the Lord of Ooze. Or... Uh, Cryonex, the Prince of Evil Cold, um, which is different than Prince of Evil Water. Mm -hmm. um, so, they seem to be the four most known and the four strongest, but there are other ones out there. 
Um, yeah, so if you come across any other monsters you'd like to know about, things you've encountered or otherwise, let me know, cool. and I will provide you that information. Perfect. Uh, so then I'll turn and I'll say, Igni, did you get all that? Um, uh... <clears throat> Vandusa? We, uh, yeah, I got Steve. Did you want to look up the Vandusa? <laughs> she just, like, comes out of a sleep off of Lilith's back where she's been drooling just a little. I got the dog. It, it was all there. I under, uh, <clears throat> elementals. And the Mandusa. And the Mandusa. Mandusa. I didn't talk I about think, the Mandusa. Right. Well, I, I think we'll probably have to... That's a person that's alive right now, right? Yes. So, so as far as you know. We'll probably have to... We have his name, you guys. We should look up records. Like, go to... Oh! Like, yeah. uh, since... What is it? When you take a census or something? Like, maybe we, we could yeah. dig up some... Figure out, like, uh... Maybe if he's changed his name, we'll f I think we'll have to get to the actual city for, for these leaders that are the cultist leaders. But okay. I'm thinking, as you were reading all that, Ozzy, mm -hmm. these are really, 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 really powerful things. Yes. We're basically going to be battling like the weather, <laughs> and. Well, I don't know they if we're actually going to see these things anytime soon, but I mean. If we were to actually go to the plains, they're probably there. Right. But, I don't think okay, we so next level down, probably, like, some pretty... What do you guys... You guys don't make me insight checks. Huh? You guys don't make me insight checks. Okay. Um, she's, like, kind of getting stuck in her own head, and she's like, mm, let me formulate this thought a little bit, and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. I roll. Well, Igni rolled a twelve. I rolled a ten. Fourteen plus something. Cool. At least two. At least I got twenty-one. All right. So Lilith lost in her own thoughts. Igni wasn't paying attention. Uh, Vanon has already read the book, so he's got knowledge. And Ozzy, you're just smart anyway, even though this was an <laughs> insight check. But basically, you get the feeling that if these things were here, like. It'd be bad. Everyone would know about it. I see. Like, if these, if the princes were made landfall in the material plane, um, that's not something you could keep hidden. Nor would they want to. So, at least as far as things go currently, it seems like they're not free. It would just be, like, crazy weather conditions all the time. So, Texas... Correct. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so you get the feeling that now you also at this point don't really know what the goal of these cultists are. Ultimately, it might be to bring them here. It might not. It might just be, you know, weird worship. But you definitely could gather that they're not here yet. Got to take out their commanders. And you do they, know honestly, yeah. that they have those. Yeah. I'm trying to be mil I'm not a military well, person. I mean, so worst I'm trying case, to be military minded. Cut the head worst off the case snake. scenario would be that we encounter these things. We don't want to do that. Right. Yeah. We want to prevent them from ever being here. Is is that are we concerned they are in fact coming? We don't know, but maybe what these cults are trying to do. And the answer enabling and being able to stop them might exist beyond those doors. Yeah. So you know what we need to do? Kill a lot of cultists. Well, I think the answer more is this. specifically than that is we got to figure out who their leaders are, who the, their head honchos that are who have the main goal of trying to open bring these princes to this plane, to our material plane. Mm -hmm. We got to take those guys out. So we I, need to. Devote all of our research to figuring out who and where those people are and how to take them out. That'll I think we know where they are. I think we know What's where that? they are. Do we? Yeah. Behind the doors. Behind the oh. doors. That you needed keys from all the leaders of the cults to get into. So but, oh. If they dislike each other, why would they all be in the same. Do they actually dislike each other or do they dislike each other? They all have well, the same goal. 
Because weren't the Earth and Fire people don't... working together on that farm you were telling me about? They weren't here? working together. The Earth people pretty... trying to frame the fire. To frame them. Yeah. Oh. So I have a question. Uh, to, to, in fact, bring these princes here, what kind of magic does that take? Powerful magic. Mm. Incredibly powerful magic. More. Is this some... Can we fix... Okay. So let's say we dive into scary doors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Behind them, even scarier people. But if we know what it is they are trying to do, uh, it's not so much about them as stopping what it is they are trying to do. Like the actual you know, spell ritual thing. Can we find information about that? Um, How does one go about them, that'll definitely stop it. You know, but the way you... Really, yeah, where there's a library that might have I mean, all stuff. I know of some spells that are able to summon elementals. Not to that capacity, but they do exist. I would assume that it would involve a lot of people doing the same thing in order to summon something of that much I power. I see. I'll be honest, says Lilith. Um, I don't really care about the spells that they're using. I just want to lop their heads off. I mean, that's true, but if we get in there and they are so powerful, that may not be option. Well, Isn't we got to figure out how to get in there and they don't know um, that we're in there. This is also what we're trying to do and going to Neverwinter is prepare. We now know yeah. slightly what we're up against, and we can prepare accordingly. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to deal with. We'll have to figure out magical ways of preparing as well as uh, physical ways of preparing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, um, what we could do is come up with a game plan on which one we should go after first. Hmm. Stockpile on the things that'll damage it. So let's say if we go after this file fire priest or fire whatever cultist will be amped and prepared with a bunch of water weapons mm -hmm. and then i'm assuming that once we take that jackass out we'll probably be able to get some information on the person that they were working with or maybe not hated as much and it'll just kind of like lead us to all of the rest of them because they are in correspondence with with each other, we know that much. Yeah, some Another of them are. The thing we could do is set them up against each other. Okay, so also that's you, true. They could take each other out, and then we do nothing. Or if we really wanted in, we could pose as cultists. Uh, yeah, you're right. I suck at lying, though. I think yes. our, I think our game plans when we get too complicated end up uh, falling apart a bit. What do you mean? That hole was brilliant. So... <laughs> As last time I checked, it was you speaking. that chose to go yeah. down the pooper hole. I usually don't care oh, what no, we do. I, was saying that I just want to make sure we're safe. Oh, yes, you're talking about the hole you dug. I'm talking about the scary pooper hole he stepped down. Oh, yeah, no. That was not a... Who went down there? The two of you, right? The both of us did. I tried to save him. You didn't okay. need to do that. <laughs> I have learned a lesson. Do not. You don't it. have to save me. You know, you can leave me behind. Well, no one wants to do that. Well, I mean, no, don't no, actually well, leave me behind. How about this? How about we? Ha we have a loose plan. When we get to Neverwinter and get learn a little bit more, I think we'll be able to develop our plan some more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. At so this point, be. we're just making assumptions. We I, might I honestly, them. Van feels like I'm saying. Uh, I feel like our, our only real lead are behind those doors. I think we found out pretty much all we can find out about this very secret of cults. I feel more prepared Based than stuff up, we did before. Up, we know some more we, things about what we're up against. Yeah. We just need to know and understand the situation, which we will only find out when we get there. Yeah, I think I think I think based off of that, the uh, the fact that like to even get in, you need like all these things that were in the hands of secret cult members in the first place, so, like. I feel like the information we're going to be able to find out is going to be really non-existent, maybe. I don't know. Well, we'll still need to, we still need to buy shit. We still need to buy shit. Mm -hmm. We need to get things so that we don't die. That is my, I don't want anyone to die, please. Same. I don't want to die. You will not be dying today. No, no dying. Nope. Okay. So, so you guys winter. continue to never wonder. Please continue to never wonder. So around the tenth day, when you guys are outside, you can see never winter when you cross 
uh, come up along the long road uh, towards the top of a hill. You can see Neverwinter down kind of by the, uh, somewhat near the coast. You can see there's a bridge, you know, several, a bridge off in the distance that leads into the city proper. Um, you can see the kind of remnants of Mount Hope now, not too far to the east from where you are, uh, where the volcano erupted several years back. Um, and as you guys are making your way towards there, you see, uh, actually, I guess I'll make me perception checks, but you'll probably, you'll be able to see a large portion of it regardless. Natural 20. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Four. Um, what was it? 10. 13. Which? That's a good, uh, actually pretty good. 17. Okay. So all of you see flying overhead high in the clouds heading south back the opposite direction of whence you came. Two dragons flying together. Very big dragons. Bigger than the one you fought by a lot. Um, Vannon, you and Lilith can tell that these are copper dragons. Oh, those guys are good. And Lilith somehow, some way, with your natural 20... You can tell that these are female dragons. How do you do that? <laughs> Bannon says to Lilith. <laughs> um, you know, werewolf. I werewolf. Flight that. patterns. <laughs> they're flight patterns. Yeah. And uh, they can do you tell look... by the pixels. No, their toenails are painted, you guys. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Didn't you see that? <laughs> they do look the remarkably similar, the two of them. <gasps> Twins. Twins. There's the that's so cute and tease. what does that mean that they like shared an egg I don't know maybe I'll have to read all those guys to monsters and find out um but well, yeah. I'd say I'm like hey for whatever reason you guys need to know these are two female copper dragons oh we are not going to fight them right they are really big no we don't no we they're don't nice fight. copper dragons are chill oh we yeah they're good fight. Copper. Have you ever hung out with a copper dragon before? Dude, no, it'd be, have it'd be you? so cool to meet them. They're great drinkers. So, so Igni, there's two different types of dragons. There's metallic and there's chromatic. Metallic dragons are the bad those. ones. The metallic, bra- the metallic ones are nice, usually. Just think, shiny good. The shiny the ones are good. Shiny good, but okay. the other ones are not. Nah, usually. they're shitty. Is there something I should... Do you have a past relationship with dragons? No. All of you know lots about dragons. No, oh, no, no, I just had to learn about thing. it in paladin school. Yeah, oh. dragons are cool. That's just yeah. basic things. Well, color me purple. Damn. Okay, well, we you just buy dragons? <laughs> I wave as they go over if they're friendly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they don't seem to... They don't seem to be providing any, you know you know, a threatening posture or anything. Right. And realistically, you assume they probably saw you because they're dragons. Dragons. Uh, but yeah, they just fly by. Um, Does it look like ancient, they're coming though. from the city? Uh, maybe, or at least from the north, heading south. If I wave at them, will do, do either of them wave back? You're not sure? I like mean, you this. wave at them. They wave, <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> and they just roll. I like I use thaumaturgy to yell out. Ha! You guys hear uh, Vannon's voice three times as loud as it normally is, echoing as he yells "Hi!" and waves at, at the, the dragon. At the dragons. How Ozzie's, are you? Ozzy's head just shakes, and he's like, "Oh God!" <laughs> um. Yeah, they don't seem. They seem like they're. Moving with uh, with purpose. Mm-hmm. But it is my yelling. They don't. They don't respond at all. They don't turn their head. I mean, yeah, one of them will like dip their head down to uh, see. wave. <laughs> and then it like looks back up and flies away. I'm like, that was really rude. <laughs> Yo, they're busy. They got dragon. They have dragon things to do. They have a dragon got, appointment apparently. Got humanoid things to do. Dragons we'll have the place. time to be nice. Yeah. Let's just focus on what we have to do. We have fine, to get fine. I won't let it ruin my day. I won't let it ruin my day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys continue uh, and make your way into Neverwinter proper. Okay. So now you are here. 
in Neverwinter. Mm-hmm. What's the plan? Nice. Can we go as the Protector's Enclave? Sure. Of course you can. Immersion's core. I don't know. Which is it now? I don't remember. Which is the old? Which is the new? Uh, I don't know. I remember Protector's Enclave, so you can go to the Protector's Enclave. That's what I think it is, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Immersion's core. So. Uh, and you guys are looking to get what or what, what's your goal here in the town exactly i know you talked about buying things and maybe reading things but if we, and the more we can elaborate the more i can get yeah, i mean i'm following their lead at this point this is research and things of this nature out of igni's wheelhouse what potions do we have do you guys remember when we went to um water and i was like oh man i haven't been to a city in like two years well, this is the city I went to two years ago. Oh. Oh. Well, give us a tour. Yeah, sure. Well, us I didn't go to a ton of places. <laughs> <laughs> Quick pop in, pop out. Got some information about some things, but uh, this is this place you can buy stuff. Okay. Stuff here. Uh, Veteran, is there something about stuff. Neverwinter we should be worried about if you're here? No. Like, okay. No, I'm, no, I'm safe. This okay. Is Fine. Okay. Just make sure. here specifically because it's safe. Just no, making sure there's no. I actually problem. grew up pretty close yeah. to here. Kind of. Technically. Oh. That's cool. Uh, oh, your home. Technically. Okay. Technically. Technically. Uh, if you say there is long like, waited like, behind that statement. It's like four days. What's up? You only live here four days. That's not home. No, I don't want to go. I, there's nothing there. I don't want to go there. There's nothing there? Well, I mean, there's... We don't need to go. I don't need to go there. We're good. We can hang out here. We can buy stuff. Well, buy away. Is that the plan to go buy stuff? Okay. Well, how many many potions potions do we have? Do we need potions? Do we have potions? No. No, we need some some potions. I thought we had one or two. I think we had two. I have two potions of healing. Yeah, and one potion of greater healing. Yeah, Ozzy has all the potions. potions. So we should probably buy potions for each person. Just to make yeah, it. Yeah, I don't have any potions. Yeah, everybody could just take a potion. What, <laughs> what kind of potions are you looking for? Just regular healing? The 2d4 plus 2 or more than that? For... I would like two potions of greater healing. So potions of greater healing, we'll call them 250 each. I get two of those. Might as well make it. It get. Can I? Oh, maybe I'll get two lesser. Can I get two lesser? Igni. Sure. Okay. Well, yeah, those would be. Everybody's gold got each. a lesser, and then we put the, the like like for emergencies in battle. So it's potion of healing, greater, superior, and then supreme. Correct. Okay. So and I think we'll call them price wise, fifty. 250 2500 Okay, hang on, 250. And then I don't think you guys are buying any Supreme, so I'm not going to bother. So, <laughs> no, two, that's like 250 how, how, how many lesser did we buy? We're buying potions. Hey, did we divide up the money that we had and separate that yet? No, I just kind of keep it in one giant pool if it means anything. You guys can separate anyway. If want. we want to like purchase stuff, we can like buy stuff. Yeah. We'll okay. Just buy or stuff if we, because I just we have like so much money that like. It's, yes. Okay. I reduced Lilith's personal coin purse to five ninety seven. Oh, okay. Um, I mean the group now we've got almost six. Okay, because she's gonna want to buy something else, so she'll probably have to be like, "Yo, uh, let me see that coin purse." <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So we bought. So we bought four of each. Is that what I'm to understand? Yeah, I have. I have two or... potions of greater healing. And what were the. And what were the greater uh, the greater healings were two fifty? What were the lesser? Fifty. Fifty. So that's twelve hundred altogether. Okay, that's what I needed. Was a number. Thank you. That's a lot of potions. I think we're good for our potions. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Plus, Dignity, don't forget you've got your cup too. I do have the cup. That lets you make anything you put into it into a lesser healing potion. This is true. Okay. Um. um would I know of any like um divine places? Uh, yes. Uh, are you looking for, like, a temple, or... I would actually... I would know 
Yeah. Uh, any specific temple? Like for uh, a type of certain deity? Because there's... Uh, yeah, give see. me one second. I just gotta look up someone's... Okay. Because you know, you would know there are... I mean, there's a, temples to a lot of different gods. Um, yeah. Like, uh, there's the Hall of Justice, which is... I think a tear torn scenario. There's a hallowed temple of Selene. There's the house of knowledge, which would be Ozma. House of a thousand faces, which is a deity who's escaping me at the moment. Yeah. Um, oh, so the, yeah, the hall of justice is to tear. House of a thousand faces. Huh. Probably would have gone um, to definitely to tear. Give me one second. Mm-hmm. Other people do other things. Okay. Other people doing other things. I wrote stuff down, so I'm just trying to find it. What would you like to... Anything you guys want to look for, look at, that I can help you with? Actually trying to see how much... What? Where's the... Did you write down all the stuff we got from the dragon? Did I? Or I'm, I'm talking to Chelsea. Oh. No. Um, I I want to think that everybody like harvested their own stuff, so I just kind of let you guys harvest your okay. Because I can't remember how much how many vials of dragon blood I got. I think I said like three, maybe. Hang on, let me double check. Yeah, no, that seems about right. Two or three, probably. Yeah. I'm looking for the forest queen. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm, I'm asking around for. Okay. Um. Like, y'all know the Forest Queen? Y'all know the Forest Queen? Y'all know the Forest Queen? Uh, you have to remind me because my memory of Neverwinter is a little shoddy. I actually, I don't think, I mean, there might be because they're like pretty close. I feel like there's some spots that, but I feel like it's honestly up to you. Okay. Uh, we'll say eventually that like you can find somebody who knows what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's kind of the outdoor section in the center of Protector's Enclave that's got trees and things as well. So there could be like a shrine. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go there and commune for a bit. Okay. Uh, you can make me a religion check. Oh shoot. While you're communing. Oh, I'm pretty all right. I think that's one plus. I think it's just one. Just one. I think. Uh, sorry, no, fifteen. No. I think my bonus is just one. Ah, I see. Um, all right. So while you commune with your 15... Um, no, it's zero. 14. 14. Okay. Then you commune, and it feels good. I feel good. Ozzy, while you're out and about in the street, uh, you... Wow, there's some wonky wonky ones for wizards um all right so this one is useless but i want to give you the option for this one okay. so apparently you come across something while you've got your nose in a spell book or a book or just absorbing the sights. i'm actually looking for an alchemist okay so you're looking for an alchemist and you stumble over something uh and it looks like a rock and you're like oh that's weird you know cobblestone must just be loose here in this particular spot but as you look closer, you realize that there is something else there. Something that is now increasing the number of pets for this party. Ozzy, you have the option for an illusory pet of one of the following three. And I would normally just pick it, but I will give you the option because one of them is hilarious. So, an illusory pet dolphin? An illusory pet, and it specifically says tricky chimp, but I'm just going to assume that that's a chimp. Okay. Or probably the best one, a bobble-eyed paperclip. That one. Yes. <laughs> so you have Clippy. <laughs> the... have Clippy. What? Clippy, the bobble. It reminds me of the old Windows word. Yeah, you're joking. Like, I'm not. You know, like... Oh, my. You have an, illu oh. an illusory Clippy I'm adding, I'm adding in case you need help. Pets. He'll pop up. He'll pop around when you're reading your spell book along the side of the page. There, 
I see you're trying to cast Revivify. Can I help? (laughs) (laughs) I see you're about to die. You could probably run. Um, all right. So that happens. That's Uh, amazing. So, yeah, you eventually find your way to an alchemy shop whose name escapes me at the moment because there's a thousand things here. But, uh, yes. Well, is there anything you're looking for? I was actually looking to sell all these parts and things that I have in my bag. Okay. Because um, I have... You know um, what? Parents. There's the Neverwinter Academy, right? So that's a school for magic and battle, so they oh, might cool. be able to make use of that. Sweet. Yeah, I'll bring all that stuff and be like, hey, I have, I have all these uh, monster parts and bits that I've gotten on my travels and figured i could sell them remind me what these are so i have uh parrot and antlers and claws Mm -hmm. a umber hulk antenna Mm. and uh two or three vials of black dragon blood okay so they will gladly accept any of those or all of those as they all have a purpose and the um the dragon blood they seem most interested in as the potions to be created from that are very good uh, if you were to be able to to do that if they figure out how to do that Mm -hmm. so first of all they'll ask if you only wanted gold for it or if there was something you were in the market for that they may be able to assist you with Hmm. well i like magic so scrolls, uh, anything that would be arcane inclined, robes potentially. Mm-hmm. Okay. Scrolls would not be an issue. Um, wands also, they have nice fancy wands. Okay. Uh, so they could definitely do scrolls, possibly. Well, uh, I haven't let them out, but I can let them out if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Uh, who's, who let the dogs out? Is that what you're asking? Who's going to let Ah, uh, I see. Um, I can. Alright. Right. Um, so... They do have... Let's see, do you have any wands right now? You just have, uh, a, have a wand of magic. Magic missile. Oh, wands. They can do scrolls easily enough. Um, probably first to third level scrolls. The amount... It depends on you know how much you're looking for. You did give them a fair amount of good things in return. Uh, they have what they describe as an experimental ring um, that is still in the works, but it has the potential to be very powerful when completed. Hmm. Um, and it's like a weird mixture of magic and clockwork mechanics. Um, so that's an option, and they would give that to you and explain it to you. At least what it what it looks like and the ultimate goal. Um, and yeah, and then they said you know they also have material components. Um, obviously you provided some, but if you're looking for anything that has like a a wonky specific component, they may have what you're looking for. I'm kind of intrigued at that ring. <laughs> okay figured it's pretty Uh, cool okay uh so they will pull out this ring and it looks like um like a just a gunmetal you know steel ring and like vaguely inlaid around the ring is uh the kind of imagery of clockwork gears all uh sort of they I and mean, when you look real close, it does look like they are moving. Like, the inlay seems to be moving. And they tell you that it's supposed to, when it's completed, but they haven't really gotten that nailed down just yet. Um, it, it's supposed to help protect the wearer from most, from, you know, significantly from damage for a short period. Hmm. Well, I'd be happy to give you this for the ring if you want, and I can probably finish it. And they're like, I mean, like, hey, it's not doing anything for us now, so if you want that, sure. Sure. I'll take it. 
they will do that and I will throw it out there too. They'll give you that in exchange and they'll also throw you a snakeskin glove as well. Oh. Worth approximately 250 gold pieces. Sweet. Perfect. <laughs> See, now you might be thinking, man, Ted, that's a really weird thing to say. No, not at all. But it specifically works for a new spell that Ozzy has obtained. Oh, shit. A certain bee-focused spell. Oh, boy. That's right. I do have that. So, you're able to acquire that. Um, and what about the rest of you? Just potions, or was Igni and Lilith looking for anything specifically? Arcane Armory Flex. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes? No? I want to. I would like to. Um, since Waterdeep was mostly spent for Lilith's kind of like past with her family and catching up with Winston, since she's in a new city, she's going to want to visit a shrine or temple or like establishment of tier ah yes the house of justice which is a thing a whole temple dedicated or the hall of justice rather hall of, i was like the house of justice house of justice yes the hall of justice specifically hall of justice. she's gonna want to go to the hall of justice um she's gonna reconvene with her deity because it's been a while okay uh make me a religion check Eight. Eight? Uh, all right. Uh, okay. So, you know, you're there for a while um, because, you know, you're, like you said, it's been a while. So, you know, it's, you know that Tear is with you, obviously, and you've been tried um, with some of your more recent events of, you know, and exacting justice versus you know moral sensibilities and things like that so you've had a lot kind of weighing on your mind and you know you take the time to commune and, and meditate and whatever the case may be whatever lilith does to reach out to tear and uh you know it's you know that he's there but you don't especially feel um like a super like a like an actual like reaching out connection but you know that he's there and it feels good right it feels you know it's kind of resetting uh as it were in this new town she's gonna i wanted to add to well mm -hmm. yeah it, that the, i've already rolled um yeah okay tell me tell me what well the thing that i thought about while you were describing that is like she's probably gonna want some insight on I don't know if this is too specific, but like Tears' opinion on her becoming a werewolf. Ah. <laughs> or like kind of, you know, like rubbing elbows with Selune as well. Like, mm. you know, like is that, is Tear, Tears not like a jealous deity, is he? Like, he'd probably be like, ah, yeah, now you're a really uh, well equipped justice warrior. <laughs> it's like her, her, desire for justice hasn't changed uh, she made that decision to aid in that cause um so she's kind of maybe like yo it's like easier to ask forgiveness than for permission you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no that's fair you can make me another religion check in, in relation to that it's a uh, six <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's fine. Uh, so, yeah, he's, you know, a god of justice and knowledge and law and retribution and war and a million other things. So, uh, there's not really a ton of room in there for jealousy, um, uh, because justice knows no envy. Uh, so, you don't get the feeling that, you know rubbing elbows with another deity to assist you in what will ultimately uh oh man I, that's funny i never caught that before chat and then i have ozzy's played by ozzy not by bucky because they're so interchangeable folks 
Um, oh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I just noticed that too. Yeah, well, that's fixed now. Wait, Ozzy and Bucky are the same person. It said, it said under you, it said Ozzy played I by Ozzy. I made that earlier. That's fine. I um, didn't call him Ozzy anyway. But anyway, um, so you don't think he'd be jealous that you have reached out or had divine assistance from Selene? That doesn't seem to be an issue in your mind. Okay. Um, she's and and she's a good reassurance. Yeah, she's a good deity. So you know, were you rubbing elbows with you know some other bad destructive deity, then maybe that would have been a problem. Sure. But wait, did you go to Selene's temple? No, I went to um, the Hall of Justice for Tyr. And, um, okay. sorry, Ted, go ahead. No, 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 you're good. Um, so, getting that, like, reassurance, she's, like, she feels, like, fulfilled and even more aligned with the party's purpose uh, and her role in, within that. And now she's going to want to um, seek... She... She plays the role of the protector. That's like her build, right? So she's gonna. I, I have. I realize I haven't really done much with the shield, or shield capabilities, um, for the group. So she's going to want to go to some kind of arcane, or a divine blacksmith, searching for specifically or at, consulting with the blacksmith with like, hey, so. What do you what have you got that might help me with this? You know, like I've got this idea. What can you make for me? Or what and have you got? To so can I join on this? I'll say nothing. You can do all the stuff. I just want to be there. Okay, of I'll course. be there to pass off coin. <laughs> <laughs> hey mom, can I borrow your credit card? <laughs> uh, mama money bags. I'll be there because Igni has my leash. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, so describe to me, uh, with a little more, what exactly you're just looking for, like meta gaming outside of game, you're looking for a magic shield. Is that what I'm hearing? Or... Kind of. I will specifically considering that we're about to go up some elemental foes. Um, my, so Lil will kind of lean on the counter and be like, so, uh, listen, I'm, a." trying to do my best to protect my, my party because i love them don't let them know that i said that <laughs> and there's a very audible dog <laughs> from like the background i heard, like, I heard that off. yeah <laughs> she's like she's like getting nervous because she's like feeling on the spot because everybody's listening to her and she's like um we're you know like earth wind fire and air i need something that can like protect these idiots because <laughs> she's backtracking <laughs> from uh from that you know like i don't know like a magic wall or a magic shield or something that i can you know like vamp into existence or hold up you know what i'm saying <laughs> the blacksmith is just nodding each time you're like, you know, this thing or, you know, I don't know, maybe that thing. Uh, so he sits there and he contemplates on this for a while. And he says, so you're saying that you need something that'll protect other people? Or you? Or you and other people? And primarily against elemental stuff? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. I mean, ideally all of us, but if it comes down to what's possible. I look behind me, like kind of wave and smile and I'm like. Gotcha, gotcha. And so he'll nod and he'll say. He goes, well, how long are you planning on? He says, are you attached to the shield you have? Are you looking to purchase a new one and enchant the one you've got? What, what's your thoughts? I don't have, like, a special shield, do I? I just have, like, regular yeah, ass shield. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just a regular shield. She pulls this thing, and she's like, you know, I honestly haven't even used this thing. Um, I don't care. I care zero fucks for this thing. So you can have it. Um, I think I pulled it off a dead body at one point. 
so it's not mine. Um, if you have something, and she like kind of looks at her armor and she's like, just, like this, like do you have anything kind of like this? You know, like it'd be sweet to match. Do you have any sweet moonstone no, shields kicking around? About the aesthetic. Vanon's gonna remember something, then reach into Igni's bag of holding and pull out like I think it was oh. four socketed swords. I think it's two short swords and two long swords we found at the water fortress place. Oh yeah. That were just empty, and I'm gonna put them on the table. Be like for trade, and then I'll go back to not doing anything. <laughs> She's like, "What the? What, what are you doing?" As he leaves, he's like, "Love you." He pieces. What? <laughs> Like, I have I have money too. He says, "We're, just, we're gonna. I'm a, I'm trying to prep for a big old battle, so uh, this is a. Uh, you know, I'm kind of needing a, a like a real big one." <laughs> okay, uh, your descriptions. He's just like, well, uh... this is literally every tattoo appointment consultation that I do. <laughs> <laughs> So he says we have we have shields that are better than your average shield that will help protect you or from uh, from damage more so than others. We have some that are better against missile based weapons uh, to you know increase the uh, the chances of a of blocking of ranged based missile attacks, but it sounds like you're dealing primarily with magic. And as he says, is this is this more spell casting or or what's the thought? Oh yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely gonna want to buy one of your beautiful shields. Okay. That'll be for me. Okay. But it sounds like maybe I should be asking for a scroll. Well, he, he he's saying. Uh, is the mad you're saying earth fire water air is this going to be spells because oh, oh no they're um listen i mean you probably deal with a lot of um military folk and a lot of the times we're on missions that are fairly confidential so you can mum's the word but without divulging too much information that'll give away our cause um we're going well, I don't know why Lilith is being vague about this, but, she, you know, she, I don't know. She doesn't want to scare everybody. Um, elemental, like, elementals. Okay, all like right. Elementals. He says, because I've got a shield that helps interrupt spell casting, but that hmm. doesn't really help what you're saying from what I'm understanding. Yeah, like, I need, like, fire resistance, maybe some water breathing, or um, you know, like I can fly. You're but resistant some... to fire. Yeah, you have What's that ring that? of fire resistance. Oh, oh, word. Van and pipes um, up. You're already resistant to fire. <laughs> thanks, man. She, yeah, Lilith doesn't buy shit very often, so she, this is really, <laughs> really like hard for her. Um, yeah, so you know, <sighs> fuck, I don't know what I'm asking for you guys. Like, I just want something to help the party. <laughs> And then he steps up and goes, I think what she is trying to say is she needs something to help buff us, to 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 make us uh, safer. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, thanks, thanks. Hey, how, can you guys just, like, come up here? Like, uh, <laughs> I know. He goes, yeah, I enjoy I watching you try shopping. to shop. This is clearly just this. I walk up. I have a very simple request. I'm like, can you make this come back to me when I throw it? And I put the sphere on the table. That's, there that's he goes. Because, yeah, I could probably make that happen. He goes, uh, how much time you got? How yeah, much time, much time do you need? He says, for something like this, um, so I could probably do it in two days. Two days? That's fine. Well, I mean, are we uh, really in a hurry to go lob heads off, you guys? I don't think I so. mean, you guys seemed like you were earlier, uh, but we still have to look at, like, there was some information we wanted, yeah? Yeah, I think two days is perfect. It seems like a reasonable time. I also wanted to do some more real estate searching, so. <laughs> You're trying to raise a family or something? Yes, you guys. I have. Aww. I... We'll find you a nice elf lady. Not it. I am no elf. Um... You all three of you, I love all of you guys. 
<laughs> uh, Igni actually does maybe have a thing. Uh, she she walks up to him and says, "How? What is your? How do you do with jewelry?" And he says, "Well, I, he says, I, I don't know what that means." <laughs> I mean, can you do you do you work in smaller items than armor and uh, weapons? Well, he says I can if the price is right or the the ask oh. is of something I can do. Uh, so I am interested in um, you know, and she like leads it. I would like to be more lucky. You know what I mean? Something to 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 just make uh make our travels on the road just easier. Um. And she kind of flashes this giant, I'm sure, stupid-sized ring that she has on her hands now. And she says, so I was kind of hoping that this ring could be more than just pretty. Oh, I'm thinking about one item in particular um, that has this cast on it, or it's this kind of item. Okay, you do uh, that. Yeah, you keep doing your thing. I'm, I'm going to find that, yeah. So mm -hmm. he looks to you, Lilith, and he says... He goes, well, he says, I've put this enchantment on a cloak before, but I could probably put it on a shield. He says, so it wouldn't provide any extra benefit defense to you, but it would provide better defense to your allies if they're nearby. Would that be something that you might be interested in? I'm listening. And he goes, so... Actually, roll me a percentile real quick. Uh, 10 plus 7 is a 17, right? Yes. Okay, sorry. For some reason, that threw me through a loop. I'm like, wait a second. Like, I know that added, but I wasn't sure if that was like a, an 80 or... Yeah, 17. Okay. Uh, so he's like, if you want to wait a couple days, I can try to get some moonstone imported to make it match. Uh, because I don't just carry that, you know, all the time. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're, we're waiting the two days for the other thing. Like, that's totally fine. But what, what effect do you tell me about? Like, can you divulge a little bit about what that, you know, before I have you import all this moonstone? So mechanically, what he's describing is uh, all allies that are adjacent to you when wielding this shield would have a plus one to their AC. I said I was muted, but I said that's really good. That's really fucking yeah. cool. That's, this, okay. this is good. I mean, you guys have to stay behind, neck like near oh, yeah. me, though. I'll be next to you most of the time anyways. We're battling. Yeah. We're just a, we're like an arrow when we attack. It's me and you in front and our, our friendos in the back and then Igni slides underneath, do some dick stabs and then we keep moving. Yes! Oh it's shit, true. we're like a Voltron of fucking dick stabbing. <laughs> I love it. Everything I've ever wanted to be in life. Yeah, that's, I just sent it to you. It's called, it's literally called the, the Luck. Good luck it's yeah. called the Luck Stone. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It doesn't have to be shaped like a cat, but like the, um. No, I, I, that's fine. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know it. I know it quite um, well. Lilith is like, I, I will, I, I will take that shield in Moonstone. It's perfect. Um, I'm going to ask how much that is, but I also have one more request. All right. So this armor that I've got right here, mm -hmm. is it possible? I have this weird, okay, so I have this weird power. Um, I can't explain it. It's kind of like a weird birth defect that just kind of happens when I get real mad. And uh, my parents didn't know what it was about, but it's, you know, it happens. I get mad and I sprout wings and I can fly for like, it's like a minute, but it would be, fucking cool as shit if I could like fly for a little bit longer um he... I don't know if that's like weird magic stuff I think it has something to do with my blood I might have eaten something as a toddler I have no idea he um, is like yeah that's that's beyond me okay it was worth a thought you know sure. cause like 
right when I'm starting to enjoy it, those wings like. Um, so cool. Yeah, I'll take that shield. How much is that? Uh, and what did you pony up for trade there, man? You're muted. I'm sorry. No, he, it's man. not unmuting for some reason. It yeah. was two socketed short swords and uh, two socketed long swords. Right. Okay. That was what we had. Um, I was gonna ask, how much does the the, the enchantment cost that makes? the spear come back to me that would be like 500 gold okay uh but that'll be covered by the short swords for sure okay dope well um, um i wanted to keep no i'll keep this so the short swords i have i keep we'll keep the short swords i have never mind okay. i'll sell the two socketed short swords i have two non-socketed short swords on me correct that i'd be used yes and you're gonna sell the two long swords as well yeah because I don't think... Do, do either of us want these? Does anybody want these? No? I don't think so. Then, I mean, Lucifer serves me. Well, yeah, no, Lucifer does some really cool stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'll sell those. And one of my own non-socketed short swords as well. It's probably only worth, like, a gold or something, but... That's fine. So, with that trade, plus and, and what you've asked for thus far... That'll cover the returning enchantment easily enough. And it would still be... Uh, where is the number for buying magic items? <laughs> that would still be... We'll call it uh, 3,000 gold for said shield. Lilith is like, and turns around and looks at you guys and is like, How much was it? 3,000 3, gold. Ooh. I you have. Know, most of that gold was yours in the first place, so. It's true. And it's not like when we go diving into this dungeon, like we won't, you know. How about this? And she turns and she's speaking, and he, you've never heard her speak so quietly in her fucking life. She's like, I'll help you loot whatever you want. <clears throat> uh, Lilith has never expressed interest in looting anything. What and she's about like, the ring? Oh, Let's know with the total number. Yeah, with everything. Um, Wait, what? Um... Yeah, and oh. Igni goes, uh, how about that ring? If we know all num total number, then we can talk him down. I don't know how to do this. Okay, I, I'll let you. I got you. So, okay. the ring and the armor? Or cloak? Shield. Shield. She'll call it 3,500. I mean, we definitely have that. Because... I'm not supposed to tell him these. I didn't say that out loud. Oh, okay. I <laughs> He's like, no. Uh, um, you know what? What else? What has Igni got in her that she can trade? She's got all kinds of crap she needs to get rid of. Hey, I have a tapestry with the map of a crocodile gun. That's true, you do. Um. Yeah, but I have this carved claw talisman. I don't even know what that is. I gave you that. What do we know what it does? Nope, it's a magic. It, I bought. I got it from the grab from the box. <laughs> Remember the box? Which means it's probably partially useless. Yes. No, it is probably one hundred percent definitely useless. If you had keys, this would be like great at holding them. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, that useless. Okay. Um. Don't actually really have anything. There's one more here. Um. Yeah, that's it. That's about it. Does this guy have anything like in his display cases or on the walls that are even cool at all? Uh, there is a suit of armor. Uh, it's a deep, deep black. This suit of armor, and it's on the shelf uh, on the wall in the back. And the way the sun is coming through uh, the windows in the front, this armor is sort of in shadow. And, like, it seems like it's almost flickering in and out of existence. 
That's weird. Is there a price tag? Is it like 12,000 gold? Uh, no, it is. Let me roll for it real quick. Uh, it is 5,000 gold. Cool. I rolled real low. Man's gonna look at that and be like, cool, and then look at the price tag and be cool, and then turn around and walk away. All right, all right. And he's uh, like, what? what you're what, not interested? Oh, okay. What can we do to uh, to negotiate for your prices are so much high? And he says, no, they're not. <laughs> oh, I, I, I think they are, and I am classy lady. Um, can I convince him that his prices are too high? You can make a persuasion check, sure. Oh, well, I am just rolling like shit tonight. That was only a 10. And he's just like, no, nah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're good. Well, that's all I got. All right. Well, it seems like... He says, be... hopefully you get this ring. You'll have better luck next time. <laughs> you get it? Uh, Are you getting a ring of luck? or the luck? Yeah, that's, I'm basically turning my very expensive ring. That's really, that's a good enchantment. Yeah. Oh All right. Yeah. And that's funny because theoretically, the way the game works, the enchantment is less money than the dime, the the sapphire is worth. The ring oh, itself. Yeah. Um, all right. Oh, so that, that enchantment's only five hundred gold. It's true. Oh my this God. time, Igni leans in there and goes, "I swear to God, if my ring goes missing, I will eat your face." Okay. And he's Perfect like, five, what five, is five, that? And he like looks at you. Are you talking to the, the shop owner? Yeah, hell yeah, I am. And she like pulls her ring off and slides, you know, 3,500. Oh, now he, he, at first he was just like, and then he what? gets it. But he was like, I can't help if you lose your ring. But no, then he realized you, you meant while it's in his, while it's, happens to it. while it's in his possession. Bro, Got it. You're he's responsible, it. sir. Um, be back for said goods. And he sees Vannon, and he feels like Vannon is his. You get the feeling, like, and he's like, yep, sure, very all business when it comes to, like, talking with Lilith and Igni. And he just, like, and he's like, and turns to Vannon, and he's like, so, buddy, what's, uh, what's up? You look like you're you're interested in it. You saw that armor. You look like you're pretty interested in it. Yeah, that's why I saw the price tag. That's too much. Can't. Yes, man, it's... I know it's a lot, but it's pretty cool. It looks really fancy. I just don't want to know how much it is because then I'm going to, like, what it does. Because it's going to be really cool, and then I'm going to want to buy it, and then my friends are going to get mad at me. And he goes, you know, they thought my prices were too high, but I think they're pretty reasonable. It's pretty cool. And he's looking at it. You can barely see it right now in the shadow. It's pretty neat. That is really cool. an insight cool. check. Sure. <laughs> Um, seven. He's, he, it does seem pretty cool. <laughs> he's <laughs> right. Um, he's like, man. I was like, huh. All right. Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> um, let me just read real quick what I wrote here. Um, How much money do we have now after that? That's a good question. 2,500 about. No. No? No, the Excel tracker says somewhere close to about fourteen fifteen. Fourteen fifty. Okay. Uh not counting gems that we can we've got another about eleven 1, hundred in gems that could okay. be also be traded. So um okay. we're not hurting by any means, but we have spent about thirty with the thousand we already received this game, um, we've spent about thirty seven hundred in this game alone. Yeah. It's pretty cool when you can make the darkness even darker if you know what i mean were you just explaining this piece of armor to us and he was just like hey man maybe oh, okay. <laughs> which made you buy it <laughs> what is this guy like smoking a blunt i don't know. yeah like i, I think i think bannon was having a side conversation that entire time he was talking to him 
It's fine. He's just like, it's, it's whatever, man. <laughs> What's this guy? It's just a dwarf, right? How did he get so chill? He's just like, I just made a whole bunch of money. I'm pretty chill now. Who, who, wait, what's this guy look like, though? What is he? Uh, He is... What is he? What is this guy? It's um, something Bannon would pay attention to. Realistically, yeah. I, w- I would imagine this guy is a tiefling. He's a tiefling? Yep. Oh, then Vannon's all sorts of enamored. Yeah, he's like a deep, deep crimson... You know, big old ram horns. I ask him what his name is. I'm like, what's what's your name? You're like really cool. Baracus. Baracus? That's such a cool fucking... name. Hold on now. Wait a fucking second. What? I literally just finished a campaign. I gotta derail this a little bit. This is so <laughs> <laughs> I literally just finished a campaign with a bunch of friends, a local one that I was DMing, and then we all started taking turns. It was great. It was my first D&D group here in San Diego. And one of the players was a tiefling. He was a warlock, but he was a tiefling named fucking Baracus. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Did you just use the tiefling name generator, Ted? <laughs> no, that's just a that's just a badass name. Oh, yeah. but, uh, like I literally, I, I need to shout this out to Leo. I'm gonna fucking tell him all about it. I can't, can't believe this happened. I'm so excited. No, so- I just always, um, you know, I build a lot of characters in my spare time. So having a go-to list of names, plus uh, it also makes me think of Mr. T from the A Team. So you know, can I hang out with this guy for the next couple of days? Sure. <laughs> Can we just be like... As long as you don't, like, interrupt what he's doing, he's cool. Yeah, no. I'm going to be like, hey, you want to, like, get some drinks tomorrow or something? And he's like, yeah, I mean, as long as I don't get too drunk, otherwise you're going to have to wait longer for your stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's not... Let's not have that happen. We should <laughs> hang out. <laughs> sure, yeah. No, he's super chill. He's, you know, he's got a little bit of magic, and he's doing his thing. I got a little bit of magic. <laughs> I love Vannon's interaction with this guy. He's like, I, I could do stuff too. Look at yeah, me. Yeah, I could do a little bit of magic. I, I also have a ton of pets. And I'll like bring out like Jeanette and the cat, and <laughs> and uh, John the ball of vines, and and, he all my pets will, and, all my pets. and he'll be like, Hey man, I, I got a pet too. You want to see it? Yeah. He's like, But you're like, don't tell anybody. Okay. People won't like it. And, like, you see this, like, spider crawl up, like, out of, like, his shirt onto his shoulder. And he's like, so it looks like that. But, like, but, like, do your thing. And he watches the spider disappears. And in place of the spider is a little imp. Oh, that's so cool. Is he a warlock? I don't know. You're not there. (laughs) This is when they're hanging out. That's such a cool imp thing. At some point, I would have had him. I would have asked if he could also enchant my um, short sword. To do what? Uh, just pl- be a plus one. Just want to make it better. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that'd be like. He likes you, so he'll make you four hundred gold for that. Ah oh, man, you're the best. Also, I can find you cool stuff while we're out. And he's exactly. like, I love cool stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, like we found all this cool stuff. I want to go through all the cool stuff we found. Like my spear, I'll show him. He he has the spear, but yeah. <laughs> He's cool like, I, we found. I showed you like my spear, but you have it already. The pen, right? I have a pen that's like in the earth pen that Gina gave me. Oh, yeah, the little totem that lets you yeah. spit acid, yeah. I, like, show him that. Show him all the cool stuff. He's down for all the cool stuff. He loves it. Yeah. You Don't got your, your little bro here in, yeah. uh, in Neverwinter. I've been thinking of moving to the city, man. Do you think I should find an apartment here? <laughs> and he's like, Totally. We can hang out all... You keep bringing cool stuff, we can hang out all the time. Yeah, okay. Do you know what the prices are? Like, what about... <laughs> <laughs> What's rent like in this city, man? What's rent like in Neverwinter, man? And he's just like... He's like, you know, it's... If you're gonna get it in, I'd get in now. Because, you know, everybody was still rebuilding. So, yeah. you know, prices are relatively low. But, like, yeah, in a couple of years, like it's gonna start going back up. Yeah, okay. I'll spend some time doing that while we're here. At some <laughs> point. Right. You can figure that out later. We don't yeah, that's fine. Um, 
so uh anything else that so we're gonna be here in neverwinter for a few days it sounds like waiting for items to be created uh, I had a question. Yes, of course. Do you have a like the spell book that I got? Do you have the actual list of what's in it? I do. Okay. Are you able to tell me what the higher level spells are, like level four and fives? Because it goes up to fifth level, right? Yes, it's a yeah, it goes up. Yes. So let me tell you right now. So there are two fifth level spells in this book. Okay, those I can't learn yet, but that's fine. They are. <sighs> Uh, let's see. Which are my favorite spells? That's what we'll put in this book. Um, but also ones that I don't want to just give you outright because I don't want to yeah. screw myself over down the road. Um, we'll go with. Uh, is this one? Is it? Okay, we'll go with scrying, because okay. it's a standard. Uh, and Enervation. Okay. And then and the fourth. fourth, there would be four fourth level spells. Okay. Dimension Door. Okay, good. That was the one I was hoping was in there. <laughs> yep. Dimension Door, uh, Sickening Radiance. Don't you have fourth level spells now? Yep. Oh, boy. Uh, Arcane Eye. And fabricate. Cool. Then, while we're here, I would like to find a spell scroll of either tidal wave or watery sphere. Okay, you could find uh, tidal wave for sure. Um, and that would run you like uh, I don't know. We'll just call it. 350. 350? Yeah, for a tidal wave scroll. So it would cost me 500 to buy it and put it in my book. Correct. Is that okay? Party? <laughs> I get tidal wave. We just broke the bank. Spend your yeah. money, Ozzy. I mean, we're here. I mean, we're on a mission. We might die. So what's the point of holding on to all this money? Cool. I have tidal wave now. There you go. Uh, did you want to spend any time over this next few days as we round out this episode working on that ring? Uh, yes, and I would also, if it's also cool, if I could spend another 200 to put Dimension Door in my book as well. Sure. That's I mean, I'm going to say sure, but it's not my money. You have no idea how much I love that spell. It's so good. It's so good. And then I want to show it off. <laughs> there you go. At some point, um, Van's going to get really anything. like reminiscent and like nostalgic from the last time he was here and he's going to take uh, Lilith out to that like area that is in the center of the city where it's nice and grassy mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about there's like fountains and mm -hmm. like weird and it's cool it's basically city of guilds uh, <laughs> yeah and I'll I'll, uh, I'll tell her my my entire story but we can deal with that later okay Lilith? yep Lilith Okay. She feels like a weird. You're good. No, 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 no. Lilith is like a seriousness. It's like yeah. a austerity. She's like, oh, yeah. okay. I... No, Vannon feels I like to... some uh, kinship and the loss of parents and other things. Okay. Other things about yeah. your past that will be relevant later once you know. It's a little bit too much for me to just like do now because it's like. Sure, what? sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. she's like, I'm assuming you're like, hey, Lila, I, like, I want to, and yeah. Lila's like, okay, dude. And she's yeah. thinking it's like, it's probably because you saw me in all of my tattooed glory. And now we have, we both have secrets we need to like hash out. Yeah. That's how he's feeling. And, and we speak to animals now, kind of. Yeah. He likes that a lot. <laughs> yeah. We, we're like, we're like, we had this like unspoken, like homie ship that like developed. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's fine. That's chill. Uh, just remind me, any one of you or all of you, that we're going to go over that next time so that you've got time to think about it, Davis, and yeah. we can... I'm assuming, Davis, you'll probably, like, you want to send me some... Yeah, I can send you some stuff. So we don't have to, like, it's a lot. Hey, man. Yeah, as much send, as it, you, send it to me. Just let me know what you tell her. Okay. I'll. Yeah, I guess I'll tell Ted. And then that, that makes sense. Yep. 
Uh, all right, so, uh, Bucky, did you want to make some, I guess, arcana checks on this ring? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, I'm gonna get the one that that died that always rolls well for me. Arcana. That's cocked. 22. Oh, shit. All right, make me one more. Even more. 25. All right, wow. So, of course. Uh, basically, at the end of your time here, after you've taken the time to put your spells, you, for whatever reason, maybe it's reading the new spells from another spell book in someone else's hand, taking the time to decipher it and understand the intricacies of the arcane magics that are in it, you are able to unlock the potential of this ring. This is an attunement ring, mm -hmm. so we'll throw that out there. But... As you put the ring on and start to meditate and mess around and tap into its arcane powers, uh, basically, once per long rest, as a bonus action, you can activate this ring's ability. And when it does, extending from the ring, covering your finger and then working its way backwards over your hand, then back down, covering all of these fingers and your thumb, and then working its way up your arm across your chest, down this arm, up over your head, and then down all the way to your toes, is basically covered in interlocking, but fluidly moving as though it is a second skin, metal plating, and your AC becomes 20. And oh, you're, damn! Uh, Shit! From and, what? What were you originally? Like 14? Uh, my AC normally. Oh, and I always keep a cover. I just on, need so. this comparison. Is it twelve? <laughs> oh God! So, you also. I think yours is more than Lilith's now. You Fuck. also have resistance to slash, uh, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage. Um, and this lasts for one hour, or until you dismiss it again as a bonus action. Yeah, I'm gonna tune that shit. Once per real rest. fast, real fast, like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Jesus. Is there a name to this ring? Um, it has a name. Uh, but I think it's just cooler if we just call it the Colossus Ring. Because <laughs> it makes you want to write something basically, down. and like it does cover your face and your eyelids to make you basically look like Colossus from X Men. That's awesome as fuck. So anybody can wear this ring, but you have it right now. So yeah, I'm gonna, after I do all those things, I'm gonna wait for a moment when the group is all together and be like, oh, hey guys. How was, how, how have you guys been in Neverwinter? It's been weird, but it's cool being here. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. What'd you guys get? Uh, I'm still waiting for a, a sweet shield, but they oh. had to import, you know, the moonstone, so. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I got some stuff. That's cool. I did too. Uh, I left my ring but not not permanently yeah, oh, yeah. I, got a, I got a ring too oh yeah it does this and i activate it oh, <laughs> oh you, you are watch. waiting <laughs> i want to do it, <laughs> oh, just fish I wanna do it. it's so cool <laughs> we're all just like we're probably like casually eating breakfast like you know like, still waking up <laughs> and then, like like we all turn <laughs> with like with like each with a spoonful of cereal and milk just like slopping into the bowl <laughs> like oh my what? god <laughs> Bannon drops his spoon into the bowl. That's, uh, I also uh, learned a new spell. I, have, I actually have two new spells. That was really cool. And it worked, like, it's still there as he's talking about this till he dismisses it for an hour. And because it's not technically armor, like, it doesn't, you, you know, you're, you're not, you don't have to be proficient with it to wear it. And, like, you can still have full access to your magic. That's so uh, cool. More importantly, and a detriment to myself, but I know what I'm getting myself into, shield would add five on top of that. Jesus Christ. Oh my you god. 25. That's insane. Do you really have something that's going to roll over a 25? Never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> Do you really want to know? Because no, I'll tell you. I, just, I mean, know. I'm just thinking of creatures that are like level 26, and I think their AC might be 23 or something like that. 
So I just rolled a 28 for one of these guys. So, like, they can hit. Shut up, Ted. I said I didn't want to know. <laughs> uh, so I also got um, a water spell, considering we were just talking about fire and needing water. So I can now throw water at things, which is good. This is good. How uh, much gold do we have left? Um, this, uh, about 915. Oh, shoot. We are low. Along with, well, and that doesn't count our gemstones we could potentially. You guys, we're probably going to get more loot, but also, don't forget, I still have my manor that could be sold. Oh yeah, you have a whole house you can sell. Don't, don't yeah. sell your house. I own property. It's in my. It's in my. Like I own it. Well, so it's guys, a... what I've been doing is we were. So talking. don't worry about money. I've got us like covered for like a hot minute. Cause I've been um, I've been thinking of buying a house or something somewhere. You don't want to live in Waterdeep, homie. I don't want to live in Waterdeep, no. But uh. Oh yeah, like... yeah. We could talk about that later. I like I like this place specifically, but we can check it out. We can go. We can do whatever. Yeah. This is just what I'm thinking of doing for Vannon. This we Vannon can. just said that in the third person. <laughs> I realized that might have been confusing. No, no, I'm following. Yeah. Lilith loves justice. <laughs> she tried to make a joke. Justice. I mean, I would also love to eventually show you guys can keep. We should oh go yeah, Candle, I've heard Candle keeps tight as fuck. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I've heard. I mean, I've only read about it, but I would like to visit it. I, mean, I don't know um, much about what's inside, but it seems so, like a really uh, rad place. Lots of books, lots of books and tomes and knowledge. I just want to. I want to meet the monks there. They seem pretty cool. They're pretty cool. They are really cool. They're very serious, but they're very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so you, you do have a 21 AC as Lilith, so you should have one more than him. Oh, word. Okay. Oh, 18 plus the shield. Plus, plus the, the shield, shield is 20, and the armor after the moon thing was plus one plate mail. So 19 plus the two for the shield. Got it. So. Still, that's like, but I'm a paladin. Yes, no, I. I so easy. Yeah. I can but I'm a paladin. For an hour. Yeah, hey, for an hour. So, but I mean, if you dismiss it early, then it's still been used for the day. So, yeah. so I'll dismiss it for the day because we're still gonna be here. Yeah, I just wanted to show it off because it was so cool. Yeah. So, I don't know. I've been now. I now. Oh damn it! I did things I didn't even realize I did things. So I gave. I guess. See, subliminally, I guess I just get in moods and start handing stuff out that makes sense in my brain at the time so i gave a lilith like sunglasses that made her call a uh, cyclops and i just gave you a ring that made you colossus so i guess i have to figure out what other two x-men things go to the other two party members yes somebody has to be storm because Someone that one has is to be nightcrawler oh. i want to be nightcrawler oh. <laughs> i guess nightcrawler. i'm storm oh can i be jubilee i'm already jubilee, oh, jubilee. <laughs> fireworks <laughs> Oh man, it'd be really cool if you picked up that armor that Barakas had. Just saying. Or if that... Igni just turned into Wolverine and just started. I was about to say that was actually claws. a little bit more like roguish. <laughs> like if you think about it, like she would be rogue, like man hating. Uh, yeah, I would. Hell yeah, I'd... dick stab with, with some claws. <laughs> yeah, claw to dick action. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Like, well, I don't see anything more productive happening tonight. So we, we've been kind of productive, and we got a lot of information. Yeah, you guys did get a lot of information and, we and a lot of shopping. So it was a very contemplative episode. Yes, it was. yes, and there's more to come in the future. Um, so anyway, thank you everybody for watching and people who hung around, new followers and whatnot. Sorry for the echo on my end and the wonky. 2015 nerd immersion overlay we've got going on right now because i didn't have time to i brought the wrong files with me um so 
Uh, but let's go around the room and we'll use this overlay as the order. So, Davis, you're up first. Oh, boy. And guess who didn't send me anything tonight? Uh, I'm going to guess you Lex. You do it probably. on your own. Lex. I got to do it on my own. I can do this. All right. Give I'm Davis. Lex. Dank Dungeons. We shot that before. Last, when you guys were all at Gen Con, we shot a lot of episodes. So that's coming out soon. Woo! Uh, Dank Dungeon Season 3. You can find us on... Season 2, sorry. You can find us on YouTube, Dank Dungeon TV, and Twitter, Dank Dungeon TV, Facebook, Dank Dungeon TV. It's uh, how you find us. Um, this new season's really cool. I'd recommend checking it out. It's very much like... Uh, it's like... It's like Mad Max, kind of. Okay. Or just like any desert, post-apocalyptic... movie i guess you could think sure uh but it's a lot of fun um there's lots of really dumb references that are actually pretty great uh and puns and jokes that are terrible so check us out all right that's me goodbye <laughs> uh chelsea what about you i'm little red dot you can find me on all of the social media as little underscore red underscore dot uh you can also find my personal twitch there i'm getting ready to launch a whole slew of new things on my own twitch channel in fall um a lot of it fake core um and i will be joining a slew of new campaigns uh, this weekend it's dragon con but starting next week um i will be joining the cast of unmade gaming on thursday night i know what's going on uh for an interesting kind of um, Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition uh, homebrew campaign setting they've got going on um, and I will be DMing a brand new um, campaign over on the Greyhawks channel um, that follows and kind of turns a lot of the orc culture and history um, on its head uh, so yeah uh, that's what I'm up to other than my usual stuff which is the North by Northwest podcast right here on Mondays of course uh, for President of Apocalypse shenanigans um, and then Saturdays you can catch me um over on the Roll For It channel, uh, we're playing through a Vampire the Masquerade Fifth Edition. So lots and lots of tabletop RPG. Uh, follow me, and I keep my schedule on my Twitter. And if you don't do the Twitters, just like pop to my page because my Discord link's there. So if you prefer Discord, you can hop over and come chat with Discord. All right, Bucky. What about you? Uh, hi, I'm Bucky. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Bucky underscore Masters. Uh, when I'm not here, I normally play Vendelar Greymire on the Taking Initiative podcast. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at taking uh, ti underscore pod. Uh, you can also go to our website, thespark.network, and you can find information about us. You can find information about the other podcasts that we work with. Uh, as far as announcements go, in a couple weeks, starting on September 10th, most of the people in this show are going to be part of an event called the Podcasts of Waterdeep, uh, which is going to be a 10-day long event. Uh, story one long continuous story being told over 10 days uh with a whole bunch of different podcast people a ton of special guests all sorts of insanity we just recorded our like session the other day and it was fucking crazy um but yeah if you like podcasts and you like D D and you like water deep check that out it'll be on the uh wizards of the coast dungeon delve podcast feed uh so yeah that's me all right and Brittany, what about you? Um, I play Arna Delathil on the Venture Maidens podcast. Um, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at Visual Warlock. That's spelled vi visual with a Z. Um, and yeah, Bucky just, Venture Maidens are also participating in, in this Wizards of the Coast fun podcast of Waterdeep event. Um, and yeah, I second everything that Bucky said. It's going to be really awesome. It was so much fun to record those episodes, by the way. Oh, so fun. Um, yeah. And then, of course, Lilith Helder here on Nerd Immersion's uh, Princess of the Apocalypse. All right. And I am Ted. This is me in a new house uh, where I live now, but not. I'm going, I'll be driving to the old house tomorrow night to finish up what will likely be the last in person game in the old house because I'm helping this weekend to finish building my new gaming table so that may or may not be streamed or will at least be recorded and the plans will be available online if you'd like to build your own gaming table or at least use my designs and my process to uh you know inspire your own design um 
It's going to have a lot of improvements over the last one, but things that everybody liked will still be there. Uh, as well, what else is going on here? Oh, there's going to be a lot of reviews coming up. Uh, I've been graciously gifted tons of things, a um, whole bunch of stuff from Gale Force 9, basically every single version of all of their cards that they've done. The lovely folks at Paladin Roleplaying sent me these dice to do a review on. I got a bunch of stuff from Elderwood, some board games and things. Uh, I'm going to be doing probably some giveaways because I have all of the Gale Force 9 cards and they just sent me all of them. So I don't need two copies of all of those. So I'll probably be giving a large portion of those away. Um, and they also sent me a Tomb of Annihilation Dungeon Master screen, but they already sent me one that I did a review on way back when it came out. So I'm gonna give that away too, because uh, I have no need for all these extra copies of things. Um, so be on the lookout for lots of new giveaways coming to the channel soon. Uh, I have a bunch of really awesome people gave me some Dungeon Master Guild content to review, so I will be doing that. Um, hopefully some Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition stuff in some capacity, because I have that as well from the folks at White Wolf. Um, I don't know, maybe Pathfinder 2? I hear good things. I have it. I should really read the book. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Lots of uh, lots of stuff going on, uh, and maybe who knows? Maybe other streams. Maybe I'll throw some video game streams out there now that I have a space over here to play video games, and a space in there to play D and D, so I don't have to share the spaces now. So that's nice. Um, They're spoiled, Ted. I know it's a great place to be. Uh, <laughs> if I, if you have to be, uh, do that. Um, but anyway, oh, and I, I I'll have a review slash video on the secret new Elderwood thing, which is this right here. What is this? This doesn't even make oh, any sense. Oh, I know what that is. Yes, some of you know what these are, but uh, I'm going to be doing a review on that uh, so you'll find out what it is. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been belaboring this for a while, so we'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank you.